you kept us. If not for Jesus, who was on our side, if not for me, the enemies would have swallowed us up, Lord. But Jesus, you kept us. No man can show. I have every reason to worship this God. When I see obituaries of people that I'm even, I'm even older than displayed on social media, I have every worship, reason to worship Him. When I hear stories of people that are homeless and God has given me the ability to even pay my rent, I have every reason to worship Him. When I hear of people that pay rent and I have my own house, I have every reason to worship Him. We worship. Lord, my soul sings an endless song to you. Holy Father. Lord, my soul sings an endless song to you, Holy Father. Lord, my soul sings an endless song to you, Holy Father.
Lord my soul, Lord my soul.
of power. You are about principalities. You are about all. You are about principalities. You are about power.
el amor La vigilia Is that how to celebrate the God of my father? Make some crazy noise Make some noise Lift up your leg and shout for Here, yeah? if you don't have one, please look for one. I am about to, about to set fire. <laughs> be your name Lord you are so good blessed be your name in heaven you are the Lord on earth you reign forever oh Lord how great thou art blessed be your name Somebody back 
Son dos. Oko siri magosi, oko siri magosi, oko siri magosi ne nu wano tine. Ezi chimle, ezi chimle o, ezi chimle o, ezi chimle o, ezi chimle o, ezi chimo, chimo. Chimo, 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 It's the same time. Hey, celebrate, 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 celebrate. Do me let, do me let, do me let. Hey, hey, hey. 
I can't hear you. It is testimony time. The spirit of testimony is the spirit of thanksgiving. It is ministerial evil if God blesses you throw the grace on a mountain and you refuse to testify or you go somewhere else to testify. It is ministerial evil. In Luke 17, I think verse 11 there, the 10 lepers were healed by Jesus. Only one came back to testify. Only one came back to say, thank you. Only one. You won't be doing yourself good if you won't stand in the congregation of the people to say, thank you God for what he has done. It is testimony time. Can I get witness in the house? It is testimony time. Can you jump those hands in celebration? Shout fire. As I call these ones out to share what the God of champion on this great mountain has done for them, you keep celebrating and jamming your hands together for them because as you celebrate, your own miracle will be released for you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We have so many testimonies today, but please, if you, if you do not hear your name today, please bear with us because you will still have another time to stand on this great mountain to share what the God of Champion has done for you. So I'll be calling just a few today to share their testimonies. Chioma Onolefu, please rush out here. Miss Chioma Onolefu, can you jam your hands in celebration? <laughs> Pastor Benjamin Ebube. Pastor Benjamin Ebube. Please, as I call you, don't hesitate in rushing out here as the congregation keep jamming their hands in celebration with these ones. Pastor Benjamin Ebube. Michael Ohiene. Michael Ohiene. Apostle O.K. Shalom. Apostle O.K. Shalom. Can I see your celebration? Can you jam your hands? Celebrating with these ones. Prophet Elijah Martins. Prophet Elijah Martins. Mrs. Nena Ndom. Mrs. Nena Ndom. Celebrate the God of Champion for these ones. Viewers, you are on to our testimony session right here at the City of Wonders Champions Royal Assembly. This is a session where God's people share what the God of Champion has done for them. And as you connect with us on our official Facebook page and on Champions Television and Champions TV Plus, the God of this commission will be releasing a testimony for you. You can also share your testimony by SMSing the numbers on your screen. And I promise you, your testimony will be aired on live TV. Can we jam our hands in celebration with this one one more time? Champion shout fire! Champion shout Ororo! Champion shout Muzozo! Uh, my name is Michael Hene. I'm here to give thanks to God for what he has done for me and my family. Firstly, I just want to thank God because he has made me and my family to see another new brand here. It all happened last year in my former working place where I work. I don't know what happened. Maybe it's because of gift that God gave me. So they conspired against me and met my boss. I was like, I'm doing this, I'm doing that, and all of that. So after everything, my boss went for a leave. So before he came back, they sat me. When they asked me to go and see personnel, because whenever they ask you to go and see personnel, either uh, they are going to give you money or you will hear a bad news. So before then, a friend of mine called me. According to Papa, there are people that used to carry whenever they call you is for evil. So he called me, I was like, Bro, Mike, where are you? He said, I'm in the yard. He said, No, 
I heard that they, are, they have stopped you. They are this, they are that. I said, thanks give to God for that. So I went to, I mean, the person. Eh? So when I met him, he was like, ah, this is what they said. I'm so sorry. I said, no, 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 no. This is next level. So after everything, they sacked me. I went back home. You know, it's not easy for a man that has a family. All of a sudden, you lost your job. No money, no income, nothing. So I give thanks to God. So I was like that. So there was this thing that came over me because if you are losing your job, no matter the faith you have, you will feel somehow. So I now said, okay, since it's like this, there's nothing that we do. I give thanks to God. So I was there. In November last year, my phone, that even make them to sack me because the white man bought me a phone. So I told them they conspired against me. So they stole the phone. Amrava came to my house and they stole the phone. I was like, this time, no phone, nothing. So I was there. The little one that my wife was using, I collected her phone, I put my SIM. So if I'm at home where I live, my phone will not rank. I will be there, but the phone will not rank. I step and step out of the place. I was like, what is going on? Then in back, back in Jukwe. So I know most of us that came from Jukwe and Caro Fellowship Center, and you guys can testify that indeed God is working. So this time, nothing. So I just kept on going, believing God, the God of His commission for changing of level. So I was there. My phone is not rang, don't used to rang whenever I'm at home. So I was just, I was like, God, what is going on? So this day, this faithful day, my wife and my family, they travel for, to Lafia. So I was at home. I went out. I just said, let me just go and take my bath and uh, let me hang out. So I came back. My phone was swinging. I put my, pick my call. The man said, he's a Muslim man. And he said, thank God. I said, wow. He said, Mike, where are you? I said, I'm, a, I'm at home. Are you still in Abuja? I said, yes, sir. He said, come to Guaripa now. I have been trying your life for like some time, some days now. Your line is not connecting. Ha, ah, at that time, there's no money. I ran to one of my Baba friends. Ah, bro, I beg, give me 500. Ma, rush, go Guarimpa. So I reached Guarimpa. He was like, the driver is there. Go and meet him. They'll take you to Shaman. I said, wow. So before this time, he called some other two people. Since my line is not going, I don't want to as in disappoint the Shaman. So we went there. This time, we are now three. I didn't even tell me that he has called all that yet. I did not even follow us there. I said, okay, no worry. The God of my father. When I was about going out, I picked my bullet. I put it in my pocket. I said, this time, God of my father will do something. So I went there. In midst of us, we stand there at the front of the shaman. The shaman said, this time, he didn't interview us for anything. He said, you, 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 you. I will employ you. You, you, you. Can you celebrate God? So when he says so, when he says so, there is this fear that, that just from up to down, I was like, the God of my father is involved. So that aspect has gone. They gave me what I was supposed to do for them. When I started, it, man was like, wow. So I'm looking for somebody like this. We started, and every other thing, they employed me. Since I got that job, there was this divine connection from one to another. People that concluded me, that said, this one is going nowhere. Today, the God of my father, Brother Joshua Aguila, has given me a car. Can you celebrate the God of champion? The proof on the screen there. Celebrate God. Gloire à Dieu, c'est jeune homme qui s'est pour un grâce à Dieu pour le bébé que tu as fait pour lui. C'était dans l'année dernière qu'il a perdu son bureau. Et là, il a été retranché. Ils ont conspiré contre lui. Il n'avait rien à faire après cela. Et il a cru que l'éternel, le Dieu de notre papa Dieu, il a fera quelque chose de mieux pour lui. Par sa grâce. Par la foi, il est venu ici dans l'église, il a déclaré que je suis le membre de l'Assemblée la, de royale d'ici, je ne serai pas manquant du boulot. Et il est rentré par la déclaration de l'homme de Dieu, Papa Dieu Jean-Guilla, qui avait déclaré que vous tous qui avez perdu vos boulots, vous, bien, vous croyez Dieu pour un nouveau boulot, sera, sera votre nouveau niveau. Et il a cru il est rentré, pas d'espoir, mais à la grande surprise, quelqu'un l'a appelé en lui disant, viens où es-tu Il dit, je suis quelque part ici, il a cherché à venir. Immédiatement, un Chinois est apparu et l'employé en lui donnant cette voiture auquel vous regardez à l'écran. C'est ainsi qu'il est ici pour rendre grâce à Dieu pour le bienfait que le Dieu de notre papa Joshua Ngila a fait. Glorifions l'éternel pour ce bienfait. Amen. Celebrate God. Champion Shafaya. Champion Shafaya. Yeah, 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 yeah. Praise the Master Jesus. My name is Pastor Benjamin Ebebe. I come to testify the goodness of God. Have done a mighty thing for me. In August, I bought a land in a place where we are going to build a ministry. And uh, reaching December 24th, 
somebody called me one of my member he said come and see that somebody had put beacon in the land and i rushed to the place and i discovered they have put beacon i have showed the half of the land and i called the man that sold the land for me i said do you know that somebody have sold the land say you don't know i called the agent and the agent rushed there and you see the beacon and when the agent come he started removing the beacon then i said no i picked the number i saw on the beacon and i called the man when i called the man pick and i told him i said the land you bought is my land and there's a beacon there you people remove the beacon and put your own and the man said to me that he's a bishop that he's taking tied to somewhere so that when he finished that he will come back i said okay when we finish called me we come back and we discuss where so when the man come back he called me and i meet him i met him i greeted him he refused to greet me for more than one hour he was going around talking telling me he bought a land of 17 million on the other side he has so, so, so million was telling me another thing then when he finished i greeted him again i said sir i bought this land since august and look at your paper you just buy the land in december and we are going to build a church here if we share this land it will bring a problem let us join together as a christian and meet those that sold land for us so that they will give you land and the man said no he said order that he's going to collect the land from me and i keep quiet i left that day later we meet in the panels and we discuss and those people said they are going to say to us that i'm going to give the land to us and after we meet in the panels the man went back and put beacon there and i removed the beacon when i removed the beacon the man now called me he said we come to lay down for him and apologize to him and he said you will come to him lay down and apologize okay so what happened that i will put the beacon back again and i said no then after we discussed the man went and shared money to those people and he just went to police and called police for me he reported me in the police station and i took my uh, secretary with me we went to station and we bring the paper when the dpo showed the paper he said to the man ah, you just bought the land in december and the other person by saying so how you want to take the land that belongs to this man and he was telling him and after the whole thing the dpo said to those people that saw the land for us he said they give us one week to go and let two of us have our land and the man stood up they said no that this man must kneel down and apologize to him and this man must go he was and dpo said to him so you told me while you were testifying you told me that during the course of the time you took the anointed sticker from this ministry and you placed it in the land tell us about that okay then when we finish on sunday the first Sunday of this uh, or january we are here and daddy say we should put our hands on our head that we should pray that we are coming to this altar to come and testify and i prayed after i prayed the spirit to speak to me to go and buy a sticker and put on that land i went and bought a sticker as i was going i see the man pack his jeep there and i went there and i told him i say sir let us say to this and he said no and i removed the sticker from my bible and dropped it in the land i said the god of my father you must bring the land back for me and the man reacted he said what is like i put a fire in the fuel and the man said no then after the whole thing when he did and called police for me we said to and dpo told him that if you fight this man to the court that the man will win you and after the whole thing the man comes out then what happened is that the following day because he told them in the station he says since you people did not agree on what i said i'm really going to deal with this man and after we left the police station and the following day in the morning i picked my phone and i saw his test he said god have won me to leave this land can you celebrate god he said god want him to leave the land for you celebrate the god of champion c'est l'homme de Dieu, un pasteur. Il a acheté un terrain, une percée du terrain pour construire l'église. Et quelqu'un est venu encore. Les agents auxquels qui ont vendu le terrain ont revendu le terrain à un autre homme. Et sa grande surprise, c'est l'a amené du dégât entre les deux. Ils ont fait sortir le bord auquel il a planté dans le terrain et replanté le leur. Et à la grande surprise, quelque chose s'est passé. Ils, ils étaient à la police. Et la police à chercher, à les réunir, mais pas question. Et par la foi, parce qu'il sait qu'il est le fils 
de cette commission, le fils du prophète, notre papa Joshua Ngila, il est venu ici, il a cherché seulement les stickers, il est reparti dans le terrain et posé les stickers dans le terrain et déclaré que le feu, le Dieu de mon, mon père, me donnera justice ici. Immédiatement quand il a déposé les stickers, il est rentré à sa grande surprise, l'homme l'a appelé en lui disant, Dieu m'a averti de te laisser ce terrain parce que je vois feu dans le terrain. C'est ainsi que le terrain lui a été remboursé, lui a été redonné. C'est ainsi qu'il est ici pour rendre grâce à Dieu pour le bienfait que Dieu a fait pour lui. Alléluia. Celebrate God. Champion shot fire. I'm not hearing you. Champion shot fire. Yeah, 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 yeah. Apostle, okay, shalom. And Genica, my wife. Vitros World Assembly, Umo Mobwe, Uwere, Imo State. Amen. I came here in fresh fire January last year with a burden in my heart. First, I have an Audi car that almost killed my spirit. Audi 80. When I came to a junction, sometimes it will stop. And then I'll start calling Okalas to come and help me push. The next thing they now call me is, Oga, help me push. I didn't stop there, I keep moving with the car. But when I came for that fresh fire, I told Papa, Papa Jay, I said, Papa, this Audi car needs to be changed. And he laughed at me, I said, the Lord will do it for me. And then he said to me, another thing, I said, yes, Papa. I said, I need my ministry to increase the more. Even though God is helping us, but I need more increase. Then he looked at me and said to me, can you raise another sacrifice of 100,000? I said, yes, Papa. He said, go and do it immediately. I said, no, when I get to my station, I will do it. I don't have no money here now. He said, okay, do it immediately get to your station. Then he laid hand and spoke a word. He said, may the Lord give you that which you desire. He said to me, my son, go. It is settled. And I left to Mbise. And we continued our ministry. The Lord was so faithful. Members started increasing. Church started growing so heavily. Can you celebrate God? Members started increasing. So mighty fully, so mighty fully. Even yesterday, Papa said it here yesterday. Then sometime in June 27th, the Lord gave me a lazy jeep. Can you celebrate the God of champion? I've come. Gloire à cet homme ici pour aussi pour entrer s'il te plaît, bien bienfait que tu as fait pour lui. C'est un apôtre quand il vient de la préfecture du mot. Il, est venu, il était venu ici l'année dernière, il avait son église et rien n'allait bien dans l'église. Mais quelque chose s'est passé, il est venu, il a été localisé par la prophétie. Dans le moment du marathon l'année dernière, il était venu et il est allé voir papa un à un en lui disant « Père, je veux que mon église grandisse parce que je vois rien du bien. » Et il était venu ici avec douleur, des pleurs dans son cœur. Mais lorsqu'il est allé voir notre papa Joshua il a attendu la main sur lui en lui disant « Fils, Va ce que tu as désiré que Dieu te le fasse. Et papa lui avait demandé, peux-tu semer une semence de 100 000 nera? Il a dit oui, je peux le faire. Et là, fait, et papa a déclaré la, la parole de Dieu sur lui en lui disant, va et improve dans ton église. Immédiatement, quand il était rentré dans la même semaine, dans le même mois, il a vu que la congrégation, la foule était remplie dans l'église. Et rien que de miracles là-bas, c'est ainsi qu'il est ici pour aussi rendre grâce à Dieu pour le bien que Dieu a fait pour lui. Alléluia. Celebrate God. Champion Shafaya. Champion Shafaya. My name is Prophet Elijah I.C. Martins. I want to appreciate the goodness of the Lord in my life. First, I want to appreciate our Father, whom God has been using to bless us spiritually and otherwise. He's a father indeed. I came here stranded, hopeless, and helpless. But uh, after having an encounter with our Papa, God told me, Papa told me, that I should go and maintain the field, the office, the work God has committed in my hand. Before then, I used to be a pastor in CPM, after which I left because of a conflict. So I started having an outreach program. Some people started using me, even pastors. At the end of the day, that is not a word, no appreciation. So I was empty, I was hopeless. I started moving from place to place. But when I came here, 
and Papa released a word. He said, after this encounter, he said, I'm giving you five years from now. He said, your life will turn around for good. I claim it. I say, amen. I left. Nobody has ever shown me favor since I started the ministry. Since I've been working with God. Rather, if I pray for others, they go to other churches and give testimony, even buy a car for a pastor and whatever. I would say, God, what is happening to my life? Then I came here during one of the conference. That is 2014. I went to my village. I said, God of Papa Joshua Igila, do a miracle from my foundation. I want, as I'm going back, let there be a testimony. Mm. After that prayer, in the dream, I saw Papa coming to me say, the matter is settled. Now go and possess your possession. Amen. As if that is not enough, when I get back to my base, Lagos, a family called me and said, sir, we are very sorry. Uh, all this while, we have been having it in our heart to favor you, to show you fair because of what God have you to do in our family. They gave me a document of paper. He said, this is a land. You can use it for your ministry. Can you celebrate God? As if that is not enough. Remember I told you that since after that means nobody have ever appreciated me for once. That they will go to other churches, other pastors and show appreciation. Just last year here, during my birthday celebration, a son who is in America called me and said, sir, I want to surprise you. He said, what is it? I was thinking you will send me some money because I used to send me some money. You know, I was surprised two days to my birthday. He says, I want you to go to Festac, meet my brother. There is something he will give to you. So, you know, I didn't take it serious. So, on the, on the second day, I went there. So, when I got it, the brother saw me, I was smiling. He said, Pastor, congratulations. I said, Amen. Before I know, he put it in his bucket, brought a car key, and gave to me. Celebrate God! As if that is not also enough. Now, the same guy connected me to a minister in the land of the Republic, which I'll be going to. So now you can see that the favor of God is all around me. The favor of God has started his great work in my life. And I want to come and appreciate this God and also tap another grace. Because I know there are great things ahead of me. Celebrate the God of champion. C'est un prophète, un prophète d'Élysée par le nom. Il est venu de la province, de la ville de Lagos. Avant qu'il vienne ici, cinq derniers, cinq années dernières, il a rencontré notre papa Joshua Ngila parce qu'il était venu ici. Rien n'allait bien dans son église aussi. Il est venu et notre papa l'avait localisé par la prophétie en lui disant « Fils, à partir d'aujourd'hui, je te donne cinq ans et ton histoire changera. » Il a cru immédiatement par la foi. Il dit « Papa, parce que ta parole ne va en veine. » Il est rentré dans la vie de Lagos. Après sa grande surprise, quelqu'un l'a appelé en lui disant, « Homme de Dieu, il y a des faveurs que nous devons te favoriser il y a longtemps, mais nous t'avons oublié, pardon, nous te demandons pardon. Viens, nous te donnons un terrain pour que tu construises l'église de l'éternel. » Ici, il a été favorisé la première fois dans sa vie avec ce terrain. Il a construit la maison de l'éternel. Dans son deuxième témoignage, il y avait son fils spirituel qui était en Amérique, qui lui envoyait d'argent avant, souvent, mais à sa grande surprise, il l'a appelé un jour en lui disant, « Mon prophète, où es-tu Va dans un stack et reçois un cadeau de mon frère. » Il était allé, par sa grande surprise, le frère a fait sortir la clé d'une voiture et lui donnant en lui disant, « Félicitations, tu as reçu un cadeau de mon frère de l'Amérique. » Et encore, son troisième témoignage, il a été favorisé, connecté par un ministre de la ville, le Cotonou qui est bénin, il est ici, il est ici pour rendre conseil du Poulak parce que le bienfait que Dieu de notre papa Joshua Ingi l'a fait pour lui. Glorifions l'éternel. Alléluia. Celebrate God. Ok. Champ and shout fire. Shout fire, ya, ya. Indeed, the grace of upon our papa is contagious. Uh, it all started when I, I want to start planning for my second baby. For two years, I, I, I couldn't so, so conceive. So I started attending a Nyanya Fellowship Center. So one day, uh, one of the sons of the prophet came to visit us there. He now gave me a word of prophecy. He said, daughter, he said, sister, that he sees a celebration coming to me. 
I say amen. And that was September 2018. I say amen. And that day, that prophecy was released. I was, heav I was mislacing heavily. But I noticed that when, 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 I, when that, that word of prophecy come, uh, come forth, that the menstruation ceased. So, two days after the prophecy, I saw Papa. He was carrying a male child. So, uh, a, he turned, he, 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 I was sitting beside him. He said, daughter, do I need a baby? I said, yes. In answer, I carry. And see the result of the baby. Can you celebrate the God of champion? This is the result of the prophecy. The result of the dream she saw. She said she saw Papa in a dream and said, carry your male child. And this is the male child. Can you celebrate God? Can you celebrate God? Can you celebrate God? C'est en année 2018 qu'elle était venue ici. Elle a été localisée par la prophétie. Elle croyait l'éternel Dieu pour un bébé garçon. À ce grand esprit, le fils du prophète était venu ici en la déclarant et la disant Ma soeur, je vois des célébrations. Et cela s'est passé. À sa grand esprit, quand elle était rentrée, elle a vu que sa couche, son sang, sa période a été cessée. Et il a cru qu'elle est déjà en crosse. Et c'est ici qu'elle a cru et papa était venu dans son rêve en lui disant, ma fille, tu auras ton, bé ton bébé, prends-le aujourd'hui et célèbre. Ainsi, voici le résultat du bébé garçon auquel elle est ici pour rendre grâce à Dieu avec. Glorifie à l'éternel. Alléluia. Celebrate God. Yes. Champion, shout fire Shout Oloro. My name is Choman Olefo. I want to testify the goodness of the Lord that God used this Oloro water with the oil of majesty to my neighbor in my neighbor. Last week Monday, I'm inside house around after 12 midnight. I just hear somebody shouting, shouting. I say, ah, you see I'm robber that enter inside next copy what? That time I'm prepared to do my, I normally do my night, midnight prayer. So everybody shout, shout, I just listen. I am, I am here say, help me, oh, help me, oh, help me, oh. Uh -uh. Madam, before we go there, while you were explaining this testimony to me, I want you to listen very um, keenly about for this, for, to this testimony. You said where you stay, your neighbors attend a church, which I will not want you to mention the name, and they will always laugh at you yes. that um, you come back so late. Which kind of church is this? Yes. And it's a very popular church, you, you, you know, so I won't want you to have to call any names and all that. And they will always laugh at you and mock you. Yes. And you've been worried about this. They make jest of you according to your words. So what happened? Explain from there what happened. So you said this same neighbor was the one whose uh, husband um, was giving up, right? So what happened? That one day, your, your husband just come back from village. So midnight. He was shouting, the woman shouting, my husband, her husband is dead though, her husband is dead though, her husband is dead though, uh-uh. I said, my husband, open this guy, let me go out. My husband said, oh, listen first. I said, open guy, before you know, the woman just come out. Open the, open her guy, run, go inside. Don't, I don't mean, I, I bring this my oil water with you, all of majesty. I rushed inside the house. Even her neighbor was there, I feared to enter inside the house, because I said, the man is dead already. So I just entered inside, so I entered and said, I called the God of my father. But you should again I said the hour has come to prove what this woman used to love me. When I come back in the in the, in the, in the night, they'll be saying, ah, hey, which kind of church it is? The people will go to the morning to the night. He said, ah, can't we find any nations for you to be going that we used to go to and stay the morning tonight. So that day, the God of Russia Igila manifests his power. When I come, I want to enter inside the house. The man is already dead. He can't shed the bridge, he can't breathe. This form has full his mouth. He can't even shake the body. When I enter, I, when I enter inside, I use the other water first and pray. I put this thing for his man's mouth. I say, you are free. The God of my father, but you shall kill will set you free. I call my father's name because they don't believe. They don't believe my father. So I call my father's name. I say, God of Bosha Igila, prove that prove there's something a living God. Show the water to something a living God. I pour the other water. I pour the lower water for the man's mouth. Pray for his body. The man got to do hell like this. Because we did hell like this. Because we did hell like this. I said, hey, I used the I used to my Lord of Majesty. I pray for the body. I said, this woman, rob your husband's body. Your husband is free. The God of my son, I was like, has said this man free. Rob his body. Rob, rob the body. The man started doing hell like this. Started doing 
high like this. Sasa doing high like this. Sasa is shaking. Before my landlady will come inside, I say, ha, ah, now wow. Well, oh. I said, you said to my stop crying, your husband is free. I said, your husband is free. From there, the man just gets himself. Can you celebrate the God of champion? So after that, what did the people say? After that, from that day, in her compound, they respect me. What in her compound, they respect her. The people that were mocking her now respect her. When they woke up in the morning, when they see me, they will say, good morning, ma. Even my landlady, good morning, everybody, good morning, ma. They started greeting you. Good morning, ma, before good morning was not. Anyone that has mocked you, this grace, when he speaks for you, they will respect you. Celebrate the God of champion. Good luck, God, Jesus, for me, 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 Jesus, elle a eu dans sa cour, elle a des voisins, des voisines, pardon. Souvent quand on rentre de l'église chaque dimanche, on se moque d'elle en la disant comment, quel genre d'église souvent tu rentres dans la nuit. C'est devenu quelque chose de moquerie de la famille, de la cour. Mais à sa grande surprise, la même femme qui se moquait d'elle souvent, le mari était venu du village, pas de vie en lui, l'homme était mort. À sa grande surprise, la femme, la femme auquel qui se moquait d'elle si était venue en la disant, mon mari meurt, viens à mon aide. Elle était sortie avec l'eau de Roro auquel, dans sa main auquel vous regardez à l'écran téléspectateur. Elle a ministré l'eau sur l'homme en lui disant, femme, ton mari reviendra en vie parce que je crois, j'adore le Dieu de mon papa, Joshua Nguila, c'est le Dieu vivant et il le fera pour toi. N'aie pas peur, ton mari reviendra à vie. Elle a commencé à prier et déclarer en disant, le Dieu de mon père, Papa Joshua Ingila, viens et montre-toi que tu es le Dieu vivant. Fais-le pour moi, pour que ces gens qui se moquent de moi, sachent que je te sers, que tu es Dieu vivant. Effectivement, le Dieu de notre Papa Joshua Ingila s'est montré. Il a fait son miracle à ce que l'homme avait commencé à secouer la tête, le cou, le corps, Effectivement, il s'est levé debout et tout le monde de la cour était surpris. C'est ainsi depuis lors, tout le monde la respecte de la famille, de la cour. C'est ainsi qu'elle est ici aujourd'hui pour rendre grâce à Dieu pour le bienfait que Dieu a fait pour elle. Alléluia. Celebrate God. Hallelujah. Bible says, and there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as of fire, and it sat upon each of them. In this service of fresh fire, an unusual fireistic anointing will sit on you in the name of Jesus. Your fire will not go down in the name of Jesus. That pastor, the thought of the last testifier, said after that miraculous turnaround in his ministry. That he is here to appreciate this God and to tap more grace. What will make you appreciate the God of my father and to tap more grace is released on you today in Jesus name. If you believe set fire. Hallelujah. When the section of daily rema. Let's bring out our rema. As we turn to page 91. Page 91. Today is the second day in the second month of the year 2020. And Papa titled it, Giving Reveals Your Trust in God. Giving Reveals Your Trust in God. The Bible passage this morning can be seen in Mark 10, 21 to 24. The book of Mark chapter 10 from verse 21 to 24 then jesus beholding him loved him and said unto him one thing thou lackest go thy way sell whatsoever thou hast and give it to the poor and thou shalt have treasure in heaven and come take up the cross and follow me and he was sad at that saying and went away grieved for he had great possessions 
And Jesus looked round about and said unto his disciples, How hardly shall they that have riches enter into the kingdom of God? And the disciples were astonished at his words. But Jesus answered again and said unto him, Children, how hard is it for them that trust in riches to enter into the kingdom of God? We enjoy this morning to meditate in Psalms 41 and verse 1. Blessed is he that considers the poor. The Lord will deliver him in time of trouble. As you consider the poor from today, the God of my Father will deliver you in your troubles in Jesus' name. I can hear your amen, church. Papa began powerfully this morning by saying, As children of God, we are called to walk by faith. And it is imperative that we understand that this faith is displayed through our actions and not mere words. When we place our confidence in Jesus Christ, giving to the needy becomes an effortless venture. When we can give to the needy, even if it is our last. This becomes easy to do when you know and believe that God will not let you down. God will not let somebody down this morning in the name of Jesus. He will supply all your needs. Our Lord Jesus and our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ calls us to seek the kingdom of God first along with his righteousness and his attendant promise to add every other thing to us will become our constant experience. Papa continued by saying, in seeking God first, our priorities should focus on doing his will. A man named Emma Bombeck said, when I stand before God at the end of my life, I would hope that I would not have a single bit of talent left and could say, I used everything you gave me. That will be somebody's testimony in the mighty name of Jesus. God will take care of you, but what are you giving to him in return? Papa is asking, what have you done with the talent that he gave you? How many lives have you touched and blessed with those talents? Today is another day for you to make a great impact for God and his kingdom. As you stand on your feet this morning, the grace to make impact for God and his kingdom is released upon you in the name of Jesus. It is settled. If you are still sitting, please be upstanding as we pray. Do repeat after me, church. Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father, rekindle your love in my heart Help me to show it to others around me so I can be a blessing to them. Turn that into prayer, church, this morning. Rekindle your love in my heart. I need your help to show it to others around me so I can be a blessing to them. Rekindle your love. Rekindle your love in my heart. The grace to show it to many and the grace to be a blessing to the world. I receive this morning in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Lord, put in me the passion to reach out to the needy. Help me to use the talents you have given me to serve humanity. Let somebody pray this morning. I need the passion to reach out to humanity. I need the passion to reach out to the needy. I need the passion to reach out to the lost. Help me to use the talent that you have given me to serve humanity. Somebody said the needs of men are so enormous. Give me the grace to play my part. Let somebody pray this morning. I need your help to be a blessing to humanity. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Heavenly Lord, you choose me 
me just as I am. Teach me your word, which is able to give me an inheritance among the sanctified in Jesus' name. Let somebody pray passionately this morning. You choose me just as I am. Teach me your word, which is able to give me an inheritance among the sanctified. Teach me your word. Teach me your word, which is able to give me an inheritance even among the sanctified. For in Jesus' matchless name we have prayed. Papa declared this morning to everyone here and to as many watching all over the world. Papa said, God will reward every of your giving this year. It is settled. Let's gladly turn to page 88 for today's hymn. All to Jesus, I surrender. Choir.
Shall we please celebrate Jesus first Sunday of the second month in the year of triple greatness? Shall we please make a loud noise unto the God of champions? Glory to God. I said glory to God. Because God has brought you thus far in, th in this year, He will preserve you to the end of this year as well in the name of Jesus Christ. I believe that we all have a bulletin with us as usual.
unto him and when he has blessed you and you are breaking the tide you are reporting back to God that that which you have given me I have received it that which you have given to me I have received it and that is exactly what you are doing for those of us that are already here I like you to prophesy to that seed that is in your hand that your tight I like you to speak to it while others are joining us quickly I like you to prophesy speak a word to that tight that is in your hand I command every of my finances to be open open your mouth make that declaration open your mouth those of you that are joining please join them quickly if you know you are joining please join quickly join quickly join quickly join quickly join quickly if you are joining them and those of you that are already here make that prophetic declaration over your tight that is in your hand and nothing shall be tight around your life nothing shall be tight around your destiny the god of this commission will open the door of your finances the god of this commission will open the door of your career the god of this ever commission will open the door of your businesses on common favor will speak on your finances open your mouth and talk to god if you are joining them please join them quickly join them quickly Join them cheerfully. Join them cheerfully. Join them quickly. Join them quickly. Your tithe is the 10% of your income. Let's honor God with it. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Standing on this exalted altar of grace, I command your doors to be open. I command your doors to be open. In this month of February, nothing tight around you in the name of Jesus. As you journey in this month, I declare that the God of this commission will open your doors in the name of Jesus. Financial breakthrough, career breakthrough, business breakthrough, and so shall it be in Jesus' precious name. Choir, and let's cast our title. Shall we please dip our hands into our wallet and bring out our offering? Stand up. of this life brokers your door open favor is guaranteed open door is released i bless you your way open you are lifted in jesus name
of this life broadcast your door open favor is guaranteed open door is released i bless you your way open you are lifted in jesus name Everybody! You- 
wonders. Miracles are falling. Signs and wonders. The Holy Ghost power. The Holy Ghost power.
to your neighbor and say, neighbor, I'm taking over. If that one is not ready, turn to the next one and say, neighbor, neighbor. I, am I am taking over. Put your hands together for Jesus. Da 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 da
That's an outpouring of abundance. Of abundance, a new door, a new door has been opened. Has been opened. The land, the land, the land. It is green, it is green. A fresh grace, a new grace has been released tonight. For that's the glory of the Lord, the glory of the Lord is greater than the form of the blessedness. I can see the blessedness is for the glory of the Lord, the glory of the Lord is greater than the blessed. Oh, oh the blessed is He. There's a love of law, you say. There's a love of law. Abundance of favor. Abundance of faith. It's a new level. It's a new level. Can you see the new level in your life? There's a love of love. Abundance of blessings. We have taken over. Oh, we have taken over. One more time. There's a love. I can see, I can see a new level, yeah. There's an overflow, yeah, in the house. Abundance of lessons. We are taking over, yeah. We are taking over. Oh, how many of you are weakness here tonight? If you know you are taking over, I want you to wave your hands because your time has come and it's time for you to take over. You are taking over this year in the name. Jesus. Okay, I see the nations. I see the nations. They come to me. Come to me. They receive answers. Uh-huh. From my lips, oh yeah. From my I am tired oh, like a house on a hill. Hey, and then my greatness cannot. Your greatness cannot be hidden. Okay. It's beyond my wildest dream. It's beyond my wildest dream. For well, the Lord is doing my reality. How many of you have seen what God is doing? Oh, it's beyond my wildest dream. Oh, yeah, oh, no, 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 no. Yes, it's my reality. It's my reality. We say that's another flow. Abundance of favor. Hey, it's a new level. Champions, it's your new level. Hey, there's a nova flow. Oh, abundance of blessing, we are not. We are taking over. Oh, we are taken, we are taken, we are taken. There's a nova flow. Abundance of favor. It's a new level. Oh, it's a new level. Yeah, yeah. That's a new level. Ah. Abundance of blessings. Oh. We are taking over from territory. We are taking over. I am walking in abundance. And moving with the speed of the Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, the speed of the Holy Ghost. That's what I'm walking in. I am walking in abundance. I'm walking in abundance. And I'm moving with the speed, the speed of the Holy Ghost. Champion is moving with the speed. It's moving with the speed. It's moving with the speed. I'm walking in abundance. Say, walking in abundance. Moving with the speed. Hey! I am faith. Woo! Are you walking in abundance? Moving with the speed. Uh-huh. There is a speed in the house. It's a speed of John Triangula. Hey! I am walking in. I am walking in abundance. Oh. Yeah. 
Come on, everybody say it's a new level. Oh, I said it's a new level. Uh -huh. We said it's a new level. It's a new level. It's a new level. I said it's a new level. In your life, it's a new level. In your business, new level. Uh -huh. We said it's a new level. We are taking over. Taking over. Taking over. We're taking over. We are taking over. In your business, you're taking over. At your place of work, you're taking over. Everything you do, you're taking over. Taking over. Taking over. We say we are taking over. Champion is taking over. Seen, yes, I've not heard what the Lord is about to do in this place. Hey, we're taking over. In your business, you're taking over. We are taking over. So we are taking over. We are taking over. We are taking territories. We are taking nations to nations. We are taking over the world. We are winning so for Jesus. We are taking over. Financially, we are taking over. Oh, in every level, we are taking over. Hey, we said it's a new level. It's a new level, yeah. We said it's a new level, yeah. A new, level. a new level and lift up your hands and let's worship God let's say some words to him thank you thank you thank you Can never, never fail. He can never, never fail. He can never, never fail. Jesus, the same forever. I know Jesus can never, never fail. I tried him and I know. Never, never fail. Jesus, he can never, never fail. Jesus the same forever. I know, I know. He can never, never fail. In the morning, he can never, never fail. Late at night, he can never, never fail. Jesus the same forever. I know Jesus he can never, never fail. I tried Jesus, he can never, never fail. I believe, he can never, never fail. Jesus the same forever. I know, I know. He can never, never fail. And I believe the he can never, never fail. I know Jesus he can never, never fail. Jesus the same forever. I know Jesus he can never, never fail. I tried Jesus he can never, never fail. I know he can never, never fail. Jesus the same forever in the morning of can never never fail in the noon time can never never fail Late at night can never never I fail Jesus the same forever Hallelujah can never never fail Praise the Lord he can never never fail lift his name he can never never fail Jesus the same forever. I know, I know. He can never, never fail. I tried him in the morning. Never, never fail. In the noon time. He can never, never fail. Late 
as I said, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus just for everybody. Every I know, I know, can never, never fail. Can never, never fail. Can never, never fail. Jesus, the same for in the morning. Can never, never fail. In the old time, can never, never fail. The same for everybody. I know, I know. Can never, never fail. Try Jesus. Can never, never fail. I know. Can never, never fail. Oh Jesus, the same for ever. Hallelujah. Can never, never fail. Praise the Lord. Can never, never fail. Lift His name. Can never, never fail. Oh Jesus, the same for ever. I try. Never, never fail. Late at night, I never, never fail. Oh, Jesus, the same for I know Jesus, I never, never fail. I tried Jesus, I never, never fail. I know, I never, never fail. Jesus, the same forever. Lift up your hands and thank Him. Thank Him. And we will say, we will say that you are good, that you are good, and all the miracles you've done has brought us joy. And we are chained, we are chained, and by the hope we have, we place in you right now. That you are good and the miracles you've done has brought us joy. And we are chained, we are chained, and all the hope we have, we place in you right now. up your hands and thank him and thank him just thank him lift up your hands and thank him thank you lift up your hands and thank him oh you are Yahweh Yahweh. We call you Yahweh. 
Just lift up your hands and thank him. Lakasha Nabarata Sutia Ikabala Sutaya Igaba Sutara Dabadabash Ikabashanda Rabadia. Just worship him and thank him. Thank him. La Prakata Sutaya Labas. All heavens declare. The glory of the risen Lamb. Who can compare with the beauty of the Lord? Forever you will be. Lamb upon the throne, 
of man you are the holy God. there is no like you all of the gods all of the gods they are the works of men they are the works of men you are the holy God. there is no one there is no like you Up your hands when my head is overwhelmed. You lead me to the rock that is higher than I. That is higher than I. Can you wash it? When my Corinthians chapter 10 verse 13. Pick your Bible. First Corinthians chapter 10 verse 
13. Uh, I want us to read it and I want to shout it well. Let's go together. There. Can we read one to go? I want to hear your voice. There had no temptation taking you, but such as is common to man. But God is faithful. We will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able. But will with the temptation also make a way of escape that ye may be able to bear it. I want us to read that verse 13 very well. And I want, you to, I want to hear you scream it louder. Want to go? There had no temptation taken you. But such as is common to man. But God is faithful. Who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able. But with the temptation also make a way to escape. That ye may be able to bear it. Sit down balandociously on your enemy's head. Without apology. I taught you I shout in that amen well. Those of you in the gallery can I hear you shout that amen well. Can you jump up and shout that amen. I'm not hearing you well. Shout the amen like thunder. Yeah. Hallelujah. I will be sharing with us on what I tell you. The way of escape. Tell anybody the way of escape. I'm not hearing you well. Maybe if you shout it well, I will understand that you are with me. Maybe you can do it more better. Shout it like you mean it. There are different ways to escape battles of life. But before we go there, the writer here, Brother Paul, was speaking to the church of Corinthians. At this time, there were a lot of complaints of so many trials that had come to that church. And there was a lot of confusion and depression that was coming up. It looked to them as if they were the only person. Have you been through some things in life where you feel that, am I the only one? Why should all this be happening to me? Is it my sin? that have caused this problem is it that i'm bad is it that i'm wicked why must i be coming from one trial to another trial maybe this message can be a proper answer for you because there are some of us who feel that everything we've gone through we are the only one uh, that are going through that thing and then we feel that uh, 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 how can I even come out of it because the battles I'm going through I might not be preaching revelation but I'm going to be connecting you to realities of life by this short sermon maybe you have gone through some trials some battles and then you begin to feel why well, am I going through these battles there will always be temptations, challenges, trials that will come our way. And uh, let's put that First Corinthians chapter 10 verse 13. He said in First Corinthians chapter 10 verse 13, there are there, there are no temptation that there are no temptation taking you, but such that is not common. You must understand. Other scripture of uh, or versions will tell you that is overtaking you. So it means that if this temptation comes and it overtakes you or the triad come or the storms come and it overtake you, it simply means even in itself, the storm is stronger than you. 
but there's something that is inside you that will keep you in the period of trial and that is greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world can i prophesy to somebody here whatever you are going through will not swallow you i thought you are shouting that amen well i say whatever you are going through will not swallow you i thought you are shouting i say it will not swallow you i say it will not swallow you i said that stop trial attack battle from your place of work I don't know whether it is financially in the place you live in your profession in your ministry maritally whatever it is daddy sent me here to tell you you will not be overtaken with it you will not be swallowed with it if your amen is louder your temptations and trials are bowing down before you i have never seen a man no matter how rich they are that God will not leave them with trials of life. <laughs> God is so powerful. He humbles men with trials. He humbles men with storm. A man sick. I have sat down with some president and I think they don't have problem. When they open their mouth and begin to talk, I, I say, ha! Ah. So there is no man without trouble. Your own might not be financial problem. God will always put something around your life. Paul said there is a thorn in my flesh. Three times the enemy tried to buffet me. He said, but when I go to God, rather than God removing it, the Lord said to me, my grace is sufficient. So there are certain battles in life. God will put you inside. And hear me, he will not stop it, but he will give you sufficient grace. Don't about sufficient grace. I'm not hearing you well. I'm not hearing you well. My feet leg was paralyzed, crippled. He sat with the king. He ate with the king. But there was no healing anointing to straighten his leg. Moses was a stammerer. He did all manner of miracle. But the impediment of speech was dead till he left the world. Paul wrote about 13 powerful books in the Bible. It did not stop him from having a thorn in his flesh. Some Bible scholars will tell you that he had problem with the leg, he was limping. Some will tell you that he had an hunchback, whatever it is. But there was an impediment. There was an attack on his flesh. Now, yeah, that same scripture said, whatever you are going through now, it is not common. That means it's not new. Somebody else have gone through it. There is nothing new under the sun. Uh, you don't get me. I've heard some people say, Papa, this is my trial. Nobody else has gotten it. That's a lie. Somebody went through it. In fact, millions of people have gone through it. Some are with God in heaven. Some are still on earth. And they are surviving it. So if you say, Papa, it's because I don't have money. That's why I feel like backsliding. God will bring one million people on the last day. The heart more terrible attack more than you and they survive it whatever you are going through i just want to announce to you sir ma it is not new the writer said there is nothing new nothing no trial you have gone through ah you are not getting me you are not the first woman that will be barren ah there are a lot papa you don't know i am 30 years barren there was one barren for 90 years you are not the first person papa i came out of accident i almost died god will show you one came out of accident lost his two two legs and is still serving the lord can i talk to somebody here nothing new nothing new nothing new nothing there is nothing new under the sun it is a repetition and a recyclement of the same battles that you might understand that your case is not an isolated case you are not the first person that the landlord will chase out of the house ah you don't get it you are not the first person that we 
have a problem in your marriage, you won't be the last. Can I talk to someone? You are not the first person that was retrenched out of job. You are not the first person that members left you, abandoned you, and the church closed. You will not be the first pastor that closed your church as a result of trial and battle. You are not the first person holding money, having debt. You are not the first person in the church that is having all manner of all manner of litigation. You are not the first person that had issues where your house was demolished. There are a lot of trial. Can I just announce to you, you are not the first person with kidney failure. You are not. There is nothing new under the sun. The temptation you are going through now, somebody had been tempted that same way. Church is quiet now. Church is quiet now. Somebody had been in my own situation. Yes. I have hepatitis B. Yes. Somebody had that. And he's still serving God. I think I had a virus in my body. Somebody have that. And he's still serving God. I think I had a kidney failure. Somebody have that. And he's still serving God. I think my eyes are blind. There are blind preachers preaching the gospel. I think I don't have money. I was refused a visa. You are not the first person. There is no temptation that is new. Your temptation does not introduce you as the new attacker. The question is if I am not the first person then I must be very careful not to allow my circumstances to judge me on the last day church is getting quiet I thought I'm talking to somebody here <laughs> Church is getting quiet. Paul was writing to the church at the time when men will come to take holy communion and they will take the communion wine and become drunk. Paul was writing to a church at the time that they were sleeping with their stepmothers. Paul was writing to a church at the time that there was a lot of trial and a lot of them were giving excuses and Paul said there is no temptation that you have now that is even new ah shut up ah, ah, can you put that same scripture again can you put that same scripture can you put that same scripture he said he said but such is common to man it's just common this thing is common he said but god is faithful ah, i don't know how you have gone through it but i'm here to introduce to you a faithful god the lord said to me i'm faithful <laughs> i'm faithful i'm faithful i'm faithful when when Daniel was in the lion's den, I shut the mouth of the lion. I'm still a faithful God, forever faithful, full, full of faithfulness. David said, forever thy faithfulness endureth forever. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they were in the fire. I am faithful to preserve them. I'm still in your fire. I can still preserve you. Can I talk to somebody here? Ah, when the disciples got scattered, I was faithful to gather them back as a shepherd that can gather the flock I don't care how many times your members have gone astray there is a faithful God who can gather the eleven back on the mount of ascension and Christianize them and push them to the wall to cause an exploit I am too faithful when Mary was abandoned and she was dejected I was faithful to bring her a virgin to bring forth a child I am faithful when Elizabeth womb was shut down and Zachariah fed by place. I was faithful to bring out a child out of Elizabeth. I am too faithful to fail. I cannot fail. Have I not said it? Will I not do it? I am everlasting to everlasting. A faithful God. I don't care what they have said to you. I don't know how many times you have cried like Anna. But I came to Anna at Shiloh. And I opened up her womb. And I brought out Samuel. I am too faithful to fail you. I am I'm just too faithful. I am 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 faithful.
fight for when I was with David he fought with the bears with his two hands he killed the lion when he appeared before Goliath I was just too faithful to keep him and cut off the head of Goliath I am faithful I am too faithful even when Saul sought to kill David I was too faithful to preserve him can I talk to somebody here God is ever faithful if have I not said it will I not do it whatever you are going through now it cannot kill your life it cannot swallow your life it cannot swallow your destiny can I prophesy can I prophesy I am too faithful even when Ruth lost her husband and Naomi said call me Mara I was faithful I preserved Ruth I brought Ruth to Boaz and out of his lineage out of her lineage I brought the Messiah I am too faithful can I prophesy I was faithful to Esther I was faithful to Deborah I am a faithful God I am the same yesterday today and forever I have never changed man will change but I will not change can I talk to somebody here maybe you feel like packing your bag there is a way out of the battle there is a way out of the trouble there is a way there is a way there is a way about 250 of you daddy said I am faithful that womb will carry baby and this year you will do your wedding God is too faithful there is a restoration coming for your ministry I thought they are shouting ah, that company will get a contract huh? hey, that man will rise up again ah, that face will laugh again you will not cry again affliction shall not rise the second time in the land of the living lift up your leg and shut fire sit down mm -hmm. am I talking to somebody here look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor it's not new <laughs> I tell your neighbor it's not new <laughs> Uh, Papa, you don't understand. If you understand the problem I'm going through, you will not tell me that there is a way of escape. Daddy said I should tell you it's not new. Uh, Daniel escaped it. The children of Israel escaped it. Esther escaped it. Samson escaped it. Deborah escaped it. Papa, I am a backslider. I don't care how long you are backsliding. Ladies and gentlemen, Peter escaped it. After denying three times, he came back again. Can I preach to somebody here? I don't know what he's saying. I feel rejected. My helpers have died. Mephibosheth, after losing a whole generation, even as a crippled man, he escaped it. Can I talk to somebody here? Maybe they have laughed at you, but there is a way of escape Papa I feel I am in the middle of my enemies even though you walk through the valley of the shadow of death you shall fear no evil there is a way of escape there is a way of escape my name is Joshua Igilla if that trial never killed me that trial will not kill you if my storm never swallow me your storm will not swallow you. If my trial never swallow me, your trial will not swallow you. In 2020, they will hear of you. They will hear of you. They will hear of you. Your story will change. Yeah. I feel a like preaching here. Hey, hey, hey. Papa, I am crying. I came to tell you, you will not cry again. God is 
is too faithful. He will not abandon you. Hey, I say he will not abandon you. I see the widows singing for joy. I see pastors rising up again. Your head will rise again. Your head will rise again. Your enemies will swallow their word. Your enemies will swallow their word. You are changing level. You are changing level. Lift up your leg and shut fire. Hey, hey, rejoice not over me, my enemies, for when I fall, I shall surely rise, because there is a way of escape. Can I preach to somebody here? Paul and Silas, they were in the jail. The Bible said there was an earthquake. There is an earthquake coming right now. The prison door will open. The jailers will sleep. You will escape. There stood an angel by me today and said there shall be no loss of any soul. There shall be no loss of any soul. That sickness will not kill you. That sickness will not kill you. Lift up your leg and shut fire. Oh. Sit up. Who shut up? Put the same scripture again. He said, In the midst of this trial, this is not new. Then he says, In the big part of it, he said, Who will not suffer you to be tempted above that they are able? Nothing. If it appear to your life, you are able to succumb it. If there is anything you are facing now, if it manifested in the physical realm, there is already a capacity. There is no temptation that comes without the permission of God. Because God has checked your spiritual capacity. He knows you can stand it. That is why he allow you to come. If it manifests around your life, you have the capacity to overcome. Are you getting me? Oh, you don't get what I'm saying. If there is anything that is making you to cry now, and you say, God, is bigger than me. No, no. The Bible said, if I permit it, there is a capacity that you have to swallow it. Hey, look at your neighbor. Say, neighbor, do you know what I carry? Say, I carry capacity, 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 capacity. Tell your neighbor I carry capacity. Tell your neighbor I carry capacity. I carry capacity. Tell them I carry capacity. Capacity. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Hey, I carry capacity. Papa, I cannot pay my rent. You will cross it. You carry capacity. I've not been able to pay my children as well. You will cross it. You carry capacity. Ah, Papa, I feel that everything around me is shattered. Tell your neighbor, I carry capacity. I will cross it. Papa, I received the medical report. I feel like committing suicide. Hold on, please. You carry capacity. Ah, I'm not much in a job. Hold on, you carry capacity. There is a court case, I carry capacity. There is a death, I carry capacity. My church is not growing, I carry capacity. I feel like backsliding, I carry capacity. I will not run down, no retreat, no surrender. No retreat, no surrender. Put that same scripture. Let's read further. Let's read further. He said, But will with the temptation also make a way of escape. See that. Trap. 
Temptations are trap to put you under silent imprisonment. So change your capacity to make you live a stagnant and confused life. To reprogram your capacity mentality. To mesmerize your ability to overcome. To shorten your focus and insight. To reduce your ability of redemption to reduction. Redemption is not reduction. To make you have a myopic and pinjomic and microscopic picture of who you are to underestimate and undermine your power potential and ability every time temptation come you are encapsulated in the cage so that you can see the other page now go forward he said in the midst of the temptation there is a way a way of escape hear me there are different types of way. Demonic way. That's a way of escape, but demonic. Self-created way. Number three, diversion way. Have you ever seen a roadblock and then there is an emergency diversion just to make people go through that way? Even that route is not a way. Some people will tell you it's one way. But you have to follow because the way that you are to follow has been blocked. And so some people cannot wait patiently. Most often people who create this diversional way are usually people in a hurry who look at, who act a way man over out of this. So they create a way. The last way, which is the fourth way, is God's own way. And what the Bible is saying here is God's way of escape. God's way of escape. Demonic way is when demons see that you are in trouble and they know that you need a solution. Then they begin to suggest solution, a way for you out. Like going to a witch doctor. Doing blood money, carrying charm, tying all manner of liar around your waist and tira, carrying all manner of rings in order to come out of the trial, bathing with occultic soap, going to the river to be immersed and be introduced to marine goddess. Because you want to come out of the trial. Listen to me. The desperation of church goers to look for power and help where there is no help is as a result of inability and capacity to stand trials. Papa, I feel, I feel, I feel I am tired. No, no, no. The devil has brought you into that situation to look at what you are going to do. One of my son came and started crying with the wife. He lost the wife. And then he was afraid to die. So they went somewhere. And they asked them to sit in a mortar. The pastor and his wife. They wanted to come out of the poverty they had. They feel that God was too slow. They cut them, cut them, cut them, cut them. Almost 21 places in their body. And they were stuck naked according to him. They brought a life cart. And killed the life cart in their presence. And asked them to eat from the life cart intestine. Shortly after they got home. The wife started seeing all manner of apparition. She could not hold herself. Three days later, she died. He too started seeing the same thing. He came. And he started crying. He said, Papa, I can't stand it. That's, well, I don't know what to do now. I said, now, 
The way of escape has become a prison. Father, help me. What about if I am trying to run from the temptation I have and I enter another temptation? That's where I'm going to. Because this, you don't get it. Some of you, your problem is not your problem. It is the solution that you try to get for the problem that became a problem. Uh, you don't get what I'm saying. Papa, I think I am tired of this job. And I want another job. And in trying to get another job, you met with some company of armed robbers. Now they have now said, if you don't follow us to rob, we are going to kill you. You now are now in a fix that you don't know how to come out of it. They have gotten your mother name, your father name, your house address, your wife name, your children name. You are now into armed robbery. But you cannot come up because you are under a compulsion that if you don't rob with them, you are going to be killed and your children will be killed. And now, the solution has become a trap. Oh Lord, help me. So that I don't follow the wrong way and as a result of the wrong way, enter a trap. Maybe you don't understand. Jacob in Canaan, there was famine, no food, nothing, nothing. Joseph was strategically positioned in Canaan. It was only Joseph that had a destiny to be in Egypt. None of them had a destiny to be in Egypt. It was only Jacob. God programmed Jacob for such a time to prosper in a foreign land, but was not part of the plan, was not for I am for Jacob. And the remaining children to be part of them. No. God would have been able to preserve them in Canaan. But because they wanted the shortcut for the way. And the Bible says when they came back and told them that there is food in Egypt. They went to Egypt. And after Jacob discovered that Joseph was alive. He decided at the age of 130. 130 years. He left his country. He left his land. He left everything. Thinking this is good for us. He packed all the family as a way of escape and that way of escape you must be very careful because the way of escape sometimes look like a short route but it can give you a long time 40 years of slavery it will give you 10 years of enjoyment and 40 years I mean 430 years of slavery they enjoyed themselves for some time and after some time, the Bible said the Pharaoh that know not Joseph came and Joseph died and now that way of escape became a trap for the generation of a whole nation because that was not Yahweh's way but because man decided to create an emergency way, it became a trap to their offspring and children, children and for 430 years they were in that way and God wanted to show them if you must follow my way you must understand patience you must understand you must understand the ability to focus God uh, took them on a journey that will take them 40 days for 40 years because God said your father could not hold on for me to produce food in Cana he decided to go to the house of the slave master to look for food the slave master will give you food. They will give you meal to eat for today and enslave your life for a lifetime. Some of you young ladies who are looking for rich men, you don't want to climb up with an ordinary man. The rich man will give you food for two years and after that enslave your destiny throughout lifetime. You need to understand the ability why Job said, all the days of my life, I will wait until my change come. The question is, what route are you following? It might look very comfortable now. It can jeopardize, destroy, eliminate, scatter and bring your destiny into catastrophe. What is the short route you are trying to go to solve your life problem? Church is quiet. Many a times it is not our trial 
that is the problem. It is the solution. The way of escape that becomes the problem. There was a bomb blast in the Keja Barak several years ago. And that bomb blast was very heavy. And the impact was high. But the impact was not as the result of the bomb blast. It was as a result of the escape route. A lot of people were running for their life because they were afraid to die. There was a canon. And everybody was running towards that direction because they felt it was an escape route. And as they were going there, they were, that's how they were sinking down. The canon killed more people than the bomb blast. So I've discovered that some life problem in life, it is not even the situation that we are in. It's the emergency solution that we try to improvise for ourselves to relieve us that keep us in perpetual bondage in life. <laughs> the, the problem you are going through it is an elementary problem it is the problem you created by your root of solution that is the major problem you don't know some of you young ladies you want to get married you think marriage is is biscuit and rice you don't want to wait patiently and get a right person you are in a hurry to get married. As if you don't understand that you need to take your time and make sure you pray and allow God to give you the right person. Now you have entered into it. You have manipulated your best friend and got her husband to be. Now you have bought a problem that is supposed to be a problem. Church is getting quiet. Church is getting quiet. Church is getting quiet. Church is getting quiet. I think I want to be rich. I want to be rich. I want to be rich. You are going to borrow money without any ability to pay back. Now, before you are poor, you are drinking Gary, managing your life. Now you have 25 million to pay and you don't know how to pay. They have seized the little house that you are even managing. Now you discover that the solution in trying to become great overnight has put you into a perpetual bondage. Hey! The temptation itself is not a sin, no. It's not a trap. It is the solution you are improvising for yourself that have put you where you are. Which way are you going now? I'm going to round up soon. Which way? Which route? Which route have you followed? Which route? Some of you, you are looking at some people and you think they are better than you. You don't know you are better than them. Yeah? You don't know. You have applied. You are... Oh God, God, God. I've seen 90% of some reasons why we want to solve our life problem through a shortcut. A broader way. It's because we want to reply somebody and we end up putting ourselves in prison. You had ordinary typhoid but you went somewhere because you want to be healed out of typhoid. And they gave you demon of mental disorder. Now you are no longer treating typhoid. You are treating how to be normal. Your senses are not correct anymore. Papa, I can't pay my husband. I, I, have, I can't pay my children's school fees. Is it not better for you to wait and fight it out until you pay? Than you trying to look for another means. When I started ministry, I had so many of my friends who were making it. Some jumping, some doing so many things. I knew, my, I knew my capacity and my ability. I stayed in my lane. I stayed in my lane waiting for God. At a particular time, they said I was short-minded. I'm not smart. I'm not fast. No problem. Some of them abused me. 
But I stayed where God has put me until the Lord changed my story. Some of them, almost 80% of them are out of ministry, stranded. Some of them I have to pay and help them. I have discovered in this life, just running and being faster doesn't make you wiser. Don't take another man's time to run your time. That, that somebody is saying I'm raining and it doesn't make it. It doesn't mean it's raining. It might be a short time supplementary budget for longer time suffering. Have you see some ladies jumping from pillar to pole but they are not alive to drive the car? They've contacted all manner of sickness. They are not in a stable mind. Have you to see some ladies trying to make money moving with occultic men? Destiny have been used. Life have been used. They have been used for ritual. They are now upside down and they are decaying while they are alive. What is the way of escape? A man say you are not beautiful. And because of that, he's abandoning you to get another man, another woman. Then you want to become like that woman. And now you are not doing all manner of accessory and, and, and extra curriculum surgery. There are ladies dying because of all, all manner of stupid surgery. Some quack doctors that have entered Nigeria doing all manner of surgery in order to be relevant and the way of escape has become a death now now no man will marry you when you are already in the grave why don't you appreciate who you are if any man cannot appreciate you for who you are he should break but you and die and leave you alone you don't need to add other extra strength sisters you are trying Look at your height. It's not exactly your height. The shoe has lifted you up. This is not your real height. You are really trying. Look at your name. Sometimes it's not exactly your name. You are trying to make it work. Look at your hair. Sometimes you have to add another person here to make yourself okay. Look at the eye flashes. It's sometimes not your flashes. You have to borrow and add. After all this borrow, which other one do you want to borrow? Holy Ghost fire. should put slippers in their in their bag because the thing is not easy you see them go like this you see them go that's not their height oh don't think that is their height their real height is after they remove the tear ah, ah. i'm not preaching against you i'm just trying to tell you that you are trying with this all you're trying don't let another person give you extra curriculum Am I helping somebody here? Am I helping somebody here? Because we are not appreciating ourselves. 90% of our life problems are peer influence everywhere. Please, the day you will be free in this world when you choose to become yourself. Don't, don't expect everybody to love you. Please, after God love you, you love yourself. Love yourself. Look at yourself in the mirror. Whether you are tall, whether you are short, whether you are the, say I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Look at this perfect angel standing by this mirror. This perfect angel is here to make this world a better place. Talk to yourself. Prophesy to yourself that he that findeth me, findeth a good thing. I am an express image of God. I am not an afterthought. I am not a pity party. I will, I am called to flourish. This is my month of a 
common favor, my mouth to be favored in the left, by the right, and, and by all means, he that locates me sees a star. I am a star for my family, a star in the Gila family. I am the light of Israel. My light will not go down. My light will not dim. I refuse to be pitied by any man. I am a star. I am a later bomb of success. I refuse to backslide. I refuse to be to be downcasted. My soul is lifted up. I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. As a rich in a pistol that will not be shattered. I cannot be battered. My life has been gathered. My life has been raptured. My life has been lifted. I refuse to be downcasted. I am a light. Hear me. When you are in a trap, there is a way of escape. Tell anybody. There's a way of escape. Say it where. There's a way of escape. Say it where. There's a way of escape. I'm not hearing you say there's a way of escape. Say it again. In this battle, say there's a way of escape. You can come out of this situation. Say there's a way of escape. <laughs> Have you ever been in a room where you locked yourself and there is no key? And it's jam lock and you don't know how to come out. You begin to think of a way of escape. Have you ever locked yourself? <laughs> there's a way of escape. I told you about a time where I had an accident in an 18 passenger bus and there was fire burning and they, was the person by the door that is supposed to come out by the conductor door or whatever he opened the, the bus he was supposed to come out the person behind pull him because everybody wants to come out before the next person and you that is behind, if the person at the front do not come out, you can't come out. So there was a drag, a crap spirit. And there was smoke everywhere. And I told you. I was sitting by the window side. The last part. Something told me, if you don't come out of this vehicle, you will die. Sometimes the way of escape needs desperate solution. I'm telling you about a real life story. I used my elbow broke the window this is not time to speak in tongues it's the time to apply are you getting me and as I was about to jump out I heard a scripture from Lucifer it is only a thief that goes through the window it's in the bible and it's true so it's only a thief that goes through the window I said shut up Right from the days of John the Baptist, the kingdom of God suffered violence, and the violent men shall take it by force. Phew, I jumped from the window. Pia, come down. I was not the one rescuing people to come out. Can I prophesy? There is a way of escape. I say you will escape out. You will come out. You will come out. Hear what the scripture say. Now we have escaped from the snare of the fowler. I prophesy you shall escape. You shall escape. You shall escape from their snare. You shall escape from their trap. You shall escape from their bondage. Shout that amen like thunder. Walk to about seven person and tell them, I shall escape. I will escape. I will escape. I will escape. I will escape. Shatananana. Lembrakos. I will escape. I will escape. Sit up. Let me try to rush this note I wrote here for purpose of proper understanding and comprehension of this message. There's a reason why people are chained down in their trials. One, lack of patience. Sometimes when looking for a route of escape, 
You have to be sensitive, calculative, and allow the Holy Ghost to lead you. If not, you might be in bondage. You might be living in another bondage. A momentary trial can become a 430 years of bondage. Number two reasons why people live in trial of bondage is desire to get a momentary relief. In destiny, you don't need a palliative measure. You need a total deliverance. You don't need a relief material like refugee. Don't allow the devil to give you an escape route like a relief material. In life, you are not called to manage it. If you manage it, you will damage it. You need a long time and not a short time solution. Hear me. Leaving a company or relocating from one job to another job with the same character that have put you in the same level is having a relief that will come back to the same cycle of where you are coming from. I've seen people migrate from one job to another thinking the organization where they are is the cause of their problem. And yet, on understanding that when there is an attitudinal problem or character problem, it doesn't matter which organization you transmit from and leave, you are still going to face the same thing in life. Some people are in a quest of trying to get free from the attack. They think relocating from a geographical location to another. Traveling to America won't get you victory. If this same character that you have, you are employed, you don't come in time. You are employed, you don't do your work. You don't even have personal aspiration to move forward. You live at the mercy of people. You think you continue to beg for us rent and beg for everything throughout your lifetime. You are not adding quality. You are not adding hard work to everything that you do. You blame everybody for what is wrong. Let me tell you, if you get to America, you might not be able to stand it. The reason why people stay in America 30 years, 25 years, and they are not able to come back, they have nothing to show when they come back. You must understand that going to a new country doesn't mean that you're going to get a new money. It simply means if they owed you enter the new country, you are going to see have they owed you recycling itself again. This is the problem that most of you have. Even pastors. You think if you leave your father in the Lord and you go to another place, you are going to get a better greener pasture. Let me tell you the truth. The attitude in which you use to undo the church, which you are brand, which you are posted to as a branch, is the same attitude you are going to use even though you start your own work. If you cannot work under supervision, you cannot work when you are completely independent under your own. If you cannot be compelled to do things on your own, success is a personal adventure with a personal determination to arrive at the junction of goal. And that's why you must be very, very careful with the way you do things in life. Another thing is called distraction of people by their testimony. Sometimes when you are in your trials and you are going through your storms and, and challenges in life, sometimes you are not patient enough to wait to, oh, to pass that class to pass that class to go through it so you begin to compare people outside uh, with your achievement inside and you begin to feel that you have not done much with yourself sometimes there are too many artificial things on social media and there are so many make-believe can i say this to you even the way people look on social media on facebook there is a lot of uh, software that changes people's face and make them look so very beautiful but when you see them in the real time in the real time in the real in the, in the real life you find out that a gorilla has been decorated like an angel you have to be very careful there are too many artificial things artificial things that people do it is very easy for anybody to borrow a car have a Range Rover drive it then place it on social media and you are looking at their social life and you are comparing it with your real life listen to me some of you you are distracted you in the quest of finding solution to your life a friend does call you and say right now I just bought a house and then you are you are moved by by what the friends say and you want to get your own you feel that if where you are is a trap and then you need to get a better place that's why some of you jump from pillar to pole you jump from fry pan to fire in the quest of trying to solve this problem you enter into trouble that some of you you are married 
and then your friend say, my wife just bought, my husband just bought a brand new Mercedes Benz, a Range Rover for me. Do you know what the husband is doing for a living? Do you know what kind of work the husband is doing? Then you are now comparing that putting your husband under a heat. This distraction is one of the reasons why some of you jump and you leave your man and you try to get another man and you discover that you have not put yourself in a perpetual bondage throughout lifetime. Be very careful of other people's testimony. They could become a navigating system to take you away from your place of assignment. And you need to be very careful to stay focused at where you are until you get your results. Am I too fast today? Am I helping you? Ah. Inability to endure hardship is another reason why people have some palliative measures. Shortcut to endure hardship. I used to tell most of my sons when I started ministry, nobody gave me a house. Nobody rented a place for me nobody got nobody gave me musical instruments and a car i started ministry suffering i lived in an uncompleted building in agility after a whole day rain was falling you saw the woman i gave money during my birthday she brought an army blanket of her husband to me that became like my pillowcase and my my strength i did ministry not for money i did ministry purpose of God's call. If you are called, you don't put the responsibility on your father in the Lord and make him look like he's a devil after creating a platform for you to sell. People like us never. I came to this town with a traveling bag and I started this church with 250 naira. Some of you have started with millions. But you are living at the mercy of one person. You don't want to face your life. Let me tell you the truth. Once you are lazy, you are lazy for a lifetime. Give you 10 million, you will still be lazy. Stop blaming people who have given you a platform to train, to sail over your life. Somebody employed you, gave you a platform to move in life, gave you a car, rented an apartment, put you there, put everything. What are you doing for one year? You are not performing. Then you are blaming the person for giving you a sort of a life definition. How many jobs in federal government will, will, will you be employed and, be, and you give, you'll be given a flat and be, and be given so many things and be put under a salary? And the question is that, what is your qualification? What is your qualification? Do you warrant what you have? Let's be very careful when God raises up an helper for us. Help yourself after you have gotten an helper. Help yourself after you have gotten an helper. You can't die a liability. You can't die a parasite. You have to redefine yourself. Stop blaming people who are giving you interpretation. Joseph only interpreted a dream one day and that's all. And after that, his destiny began to move forward. If somebody interprets your dream just once, you try to reinterpret your own dream yourself. Don't be deaf and dumb in destiny. Don't be a statue. Don't sit down and become a fixed material like a timber wood that is not willing to move forward, not willing to shake body. People cannot be moving and working for you to advance. You have, you have a brain to think. An empty head is a load to the neck. You have to make up your mind to move forward in life. I came to this city with a traveling bag. I couldn't pay my house rent. I started the church without a musical instrument. With a tambourine. We used my Bible to collect offering. There was nothing. Nothing to show. I determined that I was not going to die a liability to move forward. I worked hard. There's no part in Cuba. I did not do evangelism. My Bible under my shoulder and I move around preaching the gospel without being afraid. I talked about the future. I was so proud of what I am seeing ahead of me. I never blame anybody for my suffering. I took responsibility. I left my father and told my father, you have, you have moved in your own life. I have to move my own. Stop making your spiritual father look like your biological father. 
What you can't say to your spirit, to your biological father, you don't transfer it to, to your... What you can't say to your biological father, you don't transfer it to your spiritual father. No free lunch anywhere. Let him that do not walk, let him not eat. Sometimes when you are shake, when you go through the shaking of life, you begin to look, you begin to work hard. I love the military training. They succumb you to obstacle crossing, pin your head down. Because to be a soldier is not a day job. When you come out and you hold a gun, you know you are a soldier and you are grandly standing. Not all this me, 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 I'm what I'm made one Christian. You don't want to suffer. You don't want to do anything. Any small arrow, you say, where, where is my pastor? Shut up! The general standing before you has paid a price. I am still paying a price. I'm going through trials of life. I am standing and standing. After doing all this thing, you have to stand. You need to understand there are challenges in life and you have to face the challenges. Stop this blame game. There is no fire at this level now. No fire. No fire. No fire. No fire anymore. No problem. Don't you, know, you don't need to shut fire. I, I don't know. I don't know what my church has done for me. The church is not supposed to feed you. You are supposed to face your the church is a spiritual organ that is to feed you with the word of God, refocus you, prepare you for heaven, and you are to hear from the word and go to the world and make money from the world and enhance and support your pastor. If your pastor do that, he should be led, he's not under any compelling com impelling compulsion to feed you. Are you a widow? Are you an orphan? Are you an handicap? a widow you are not an orphan you are not an handicap you are harassing the man of god that getting angry I, I i i i withdraw my attendance withdraw your attendance ever will not miss you i've discovered 90 percent of the people we've blessed we've helped we've done things whose hands and legs are complete are the people that run down the church hear me sometimes when people never labor and don't know what they call suffering when they see it on the platform of gold they abuse it there are some of you here look at the pastor yesterday he has never touched 300,000 in his life 300 he has never touched you give somebody 300,000 say now this moment I give me now this is what I give me. You be billionaire pastor, you can give this kind of money. This is the problem. When we are building this church, we try to get some brethren to be employed to work. They couldn't work. It was malam, malam, abokis that were doing work here, collecting and making serious money. That's why I understand that the body of Christ is in trouble. Is in trouble. We spiritualize what we should physicalize. Some of us won't walk through our Monday to Saturday. On Sunday, we are looking for people with good car who are packed to harass them to collect money. How long will you continue this? I am your spiritual father. I will talk to you. I didn't arrive here like this. Labor! You see which in everything after a man has worked hard and paid the dues. You see witchcraft in it. Church is really kind. And I like it this way. Because it shows me it is sinking. Of 
escape. Number one is the blame or transfer game. Some of you, in trying to escape, you blame people. It's my father. My father didn't sponsor me to school. If my father had sponsored me to school, I wouldn't have been where I am. Please. Thank God your father didn't sponsor you. Can you sponsor yourself? Blame game. My pastor didn't pray for me. If he had prayed for me, I wouldn't have been poor. Blame game. My church is not growing because my geo is not giving me attention. Blame game. Nobody gave me attention. Blame game. The blame game. The blame game. Once you are having the blame game, your work will never grow. Nothing will grow. That is another rule. So people, when they want to escape, they transfer all the fault on every other person. They look righteous. Every other person are incriminated as a result of their failure. The blame game. The blame game. I have served here. I have served here. Nothing to show. That's why I'm where I am. The blame game. You know, I don't know. I've been in this church for a long time. I've never seen anything happen around my life. It is not the church that is your problem. It's a blame game. Once you have this ability of not taking responsibility, blaming people for your inability to act, you will never escape out of it. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I, 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 I think the reason why this thing is happening is because I have this thing. I have that. I have that. It's a blame game. It's a blame game. That your father in the Lord had a marital crisis does not mean that you should have a marital crisis. It's a personal thing. It's a blame game. Don't carry that thing and put on your father in the Lord. If you want to fail, you will fail your own self. I, 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 I want somebody pure. A Catholic church father that are joining, joining, joining couples. Do they, are they married? Stop all this rubbish you are saying. Face your life problem and stop transferring your blame game on people. Take responsibility. Take responsibility. Take personal responsibility of your life problem. If you want to be a thief, you'll be a thief. If you want to be a liar, you'll be a liar. Stop, stop transferring your life failure on your leader. It's a personal race. Church is getting quiet. Maybe shot fire three times. <laughs> Lying on others, criticizing others in order to look better is another way of escape. Hear me? Critics are people who have failed and they criticize people they want to become like. And because they cannot become like them, they usually have small mind and small vision. And so they want to bring those people and reduce them to their level in order to feel better. Running down somebody in order to be comfortable will always make you discomfortable. Attacking your spiritual father is another wrong way of escape. If you are not able to endure ministry, you can endure ministry. Bitterness is another wrong way of escape. Have you seen people very bitter? You talk to them. They are angry. Very, very bitter. They are not happy. You see them, venom coming out. They are not usually, you see them, you begin to wonder, what is wrong with this person? Why is this person very bitter like this? It's a blame game. Bitterness. Very bitter. Everything in the system is not right. When they come around and say, no, no, it's not right. Why is it like that? 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 very bitter they are looking for a way of escape 
Then they heap it on one person. Imagine somebody say, I greet an usher. The usher did not answer me. I'm leaving the ministry. It's a lie. It's a lie. The person is looking for a way of escape. And feel that throwing it on somebody's body is the reason. The lady came to see a pastor and said, I want to marry her. And the pastor said, can, you, can we pray? He said, no, 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 God has confirmed. I just want to tell you, I don't need your consent. But she started going through trials in the marriage. She said, I told my pastor. And my pastor could not see anything about it. Bitterness sometimes. When you come to an environment that you are always happy. And you are no longer happy. You are looking for a way of escape. A way to excuse yourself. There's nothing you can ever do to appease an aggrieved son. There's nothing you can ever do to appease an aggrieved human being. When they are bitter, suddenly the environment that gives them comfort becomes discomfortable. Sibling game. Bitterness. When you enter into your marriage and you are always talking evil about your man. Since I know you, what have you done for me? What have you done for me? What have you done for me? Oh, wow, 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 wow. Bitterness. Looking for a route of escape. Bitterness. I'm tired. I've been in this company for five years. Nothing has happened. I've been driving a car for ten years. Nothing has happened, but you have a house on your own. Bitterness. Isolation. It's another route of escape. When you see people trying to leave the environment where they are and they want to be free from people. They don't want anybody to say, I don't want anybody to monitor me. I don't want anybody to know my house. I don't want any church member to visit me. That is a route of escape. Evil route. Wrong route of escape. Wrong route of escape. Once you begin to do that, wrong route of escape. Where you want to go to a place where nobody will know you. I met one of our sons somewhere in the airport in one country. And I could not recognize him because there was earrings everywhere. One of us. A wonderful tongue talker. Not because he went to Europe. I looked at him. I was waiting for my flight. In Germany. I Look at him, look at him, look at him. This is not my son. I couldn't believe. Very holy brother. Pray very well. I look at it, it, it is, of course, it's, the earrings are very, walking like a woman. I look at him and say, ah, not him now. Then I mention his name, pa. He turned and looked at me. He, he faced other place. I said, I lie. Trust me, I am father. I went cold. I said, I went, I follow up. I went and stand and start at his front. Ah, <laughs> wait on Papa, wait on Papa. Ah, why are you pretending as if you are not a person? And I ask, say, when have you become a sister? When do you become a sister? He said, he said Papa, you might not understand. I heard this, ah. He said, follow me, let us sit down. Follow me, let us sit down. He sat down. He said, what is all this thing? Is this how you do when you travel? He couldn't talk. I started ministering to him. Ministering to him, out of love. Said, how did you go to this level? How? You, you, you. Who have told me about your passion to preach the gospel? How did you go to this level that you subject yourself to become a woman? He broke into tears. I said, when the devil wants to destroy you, he will disconnect you from brethren, disconnect you from your spiritual father, make you to see them as your enemy. Thank you. Disconnect you from every one of them. Then reintroduce you to new friends. May you not fail in life. May you not fail in life. I live 
went in Buari for nine months. Trek from Buari to Duse Bokma, Duse Alaji. Come to Kubwa here. Preach. Go back. Jesus was Lord. Sometime, learn to endure hardship. Don't be afraid. What makes you a man is to face troubles of life. My father told me how he joined the Nigerian army. No hope at home. They came down to our hometown looking for boys that we joined. He was not tall. And those days, they have to put your hand like this and put across your head. If your hand cannot touch your ear, that means you are not qualified. And they ask him to do his hand cannot touch. They ask him, say, no, no, you go, 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 go. You can't do anything. He said, why the man turned the other place? He jumped and climbed the gongoro from the other part and enter. He made up his mind. I can't fail. Say it's better for them to kill me. Say when the when he entered and the man comes, oh, how did you enter here? He said, oh God, I want to be soldier. Now God say, you are too small. He said, no, I'm not small. I am a strong man. And that's how God said, okay, I enter. Follow. They go. That's how you do. Face life. Be tough. Don't allow things to melt you down. You're a soldier of Christ. You should endure hardship and face things. In the quest, when God blesses you, He blesses you because your stamina is fixed. Don't let people pity you for an examination you are writing. You are passing through trials, you are not a pity party. The temptation doesn't mean you are a reduction. The temptation simply means the task ahead of you is great. And that you are a great person. That a great person will write a proper exam. You don't expect a medical student in the university writing strong examination with physics, chemistry, and the rest and calculations to, to stand with a mere history student who is doing history. You are not doing calculation. You have to understand the higher the responsibility and the future the examination will be different the exam set for a law student is different for a medical student the one set for people in sociology is different from the one who i'm going to be an accountant somebody doing a single honor course the one studying geography is different from the one who is trying to be an accountant or a chartered accountant you must understand which goal is ahead of me am i entering into triple greatness so if my greatness is high my exams are going to be tactical and very strong so stay write your exam pass and become who you ought to be Round up by saying this. Hear me. The Bible said Jesus was tempted in all form. <laughs> Have you studied that? The Bible said he was tempted in all form. So, just to make you know, even though you go through your temptation, he was tempted in all form. Hebrew 4, 15. He was tempted in all form. All form. Let me put this and then we are going to pray. Hebrew 4 verse 15. Put it for me. Hebrew 4 verse 15. For we have an high priest which cannot be taught. Which cannot be taught with the feeling of our infirmities. But was in all point tempted like as we are yet without sin. In all form he was tempted. 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 And yet, he was found without a sin. Sometimes when I read this scripture, I laugh. I said, Lord, Jesus was tempted in all form. Was he married? Is there any temptation about marriage he went through? That's another school of thought for tomorrow. It's not, to, it's not today teaching. Does he have children? Does he know the temptation of... Let's leave that one. He was tempted in all form. There's a reason why he chose not to marry. Together with this brother Paul that wrote this scripture. There's a reason why the both of them 
Choose not to. Someone shut fire. Don't worry, it's another teaching for another day, not today. Someone shut fire. Some say tempted in all form. All form. Don't you say all form? I mean all the kind of temptation all around. We leave that one. Hmm. Have you heard our Lord's prayer? Matthew 6, verse 13. Lead those. It's another teaching for another day. Lead us not into the church. The same spirit led him into the wilderness to be tempted. And the three temptations is the three classification of temptation that every woman being on earth will always go through in life. Those three temptations, your trials of, of life are under this three classification. It doesn't matter how, how you call it. So Jesus passed through these three temptations. So it is classified, including marriage is inclusive. Oh, you don't get it. If you are the son of God, convert this soul to become bread. Is the temptation of self-doubt. Every one of you is trying to become what you are not or what you are already. Because somebody is creating an appetite that you are not better, that they are better than you. And sometimes you are better than them in all ramifications. And this is the temptation of life to make you doubt that you are not succeeding, to make you look at others as if they are succeeding better than you. And if this temptation comes, you will be trying to become somebody else and you will not become who you ought to be. What the enemy is telling you to become it is what you are. He knows the day you eat from here, you will become like God. They were already like God. They were created in the image of God. The second temptation is what I call the flesh temptation. The hunger. The satisfaction, satisfaction of the flesh in all. Whether for food, for fornication, for all manner of sin of the flesh. That is the second. Every temptation is either coming to make your flesh to be satisfied. All, everything that has to do with all fleshy temptation was what Jesus overcome after his hunger. this stone to become bread exchange it eat momentary relief momentary satisfaction to exchange you for destiny few failure the last one is the pride of life all the temptation of life is encapsulated in this tree pride of life and what is the pride of life Took him to an eye pinnacle. See, all this kingdom of this world, they belong to me. I can give it to you. I have a car. I have a house. I have this position. I want to be here. I want to be there. These three levels of temptation are all that Jesus overcome. And that's why the Bible says he was tempted in all and overcome all. Everything that you are going through is classified under these three. May you overcome. I say, may you overcome. I say, may you overcome. Shout that amen three times. Somebody asked me, Papa, 
Why is your trial so heavy? I said, I don't have an heavy trial. I have an examination. I don't have trials. I have examination. I said, why is it like that? I said, it's because where I'm going to is bigger than where you are picturing. Um, you can't carry this heavy destiny and get there cheaply. Get there cheaply. I told the person, I said, don't you see what I've achieved within the short time? Look, could you imagine if you put another 13 years of where I am? Do you know where I'm going to become? That's what you don't understand. Some of us are paying for what is going to be a lifetime enjoyment for now. You don't understand. Don't be in a hurry. Don't do a carryover. Don't miss class. Don't miss text. Face it. Focus. Face the challenge. Handle it. Hold the bull by the horn. Twist the neck and kill the bull. And stand. That after you have done all this, you stand whereby in the liberty where Christ has set you free. Are you ready to pray? I told somebody, I've seen battles. I've, I've, I've seen one strong thing that has kept me. I'm regenerated in battles. I don't leave the altar because of trials. I face it headlong. If I must leave the altar, it should be that I want to rest, not because problem put me to rest. You hearing me? Face it. Come out. Don't be a pity party. Don't die over something you can solve. Give Jesus a clamp of rain. Are you blessed today? Are you feeling the power of God everywhere? I feel it. I feel it. Some of you are about to enter a new level in your life. Where no power can stop you. Today, while I was preparing coming to the church, Prophet Estella called me and she escaped an assassination today. Some gunmen with mask marks their face while she was going to church. They blocked the route of where she was to pass on a gunpoint with AK-47. But the Lord saved her life and my kid. Give Jesus a clamp of it. You know God is faithful. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The devil is a liar. So keep praying for her and for us. So much shut fire. You can't stop what God has done. And that's how we want. I want every one of you to know that sometimes the evil one will not rest but God is with us let's leave that let's give Jesus a clamp offering for that it was a serious one this morning she almost lost her life to the men of the underworld hallelujah but God saved her Give Jesus a clamp of prayer. Mm, you are Yahweh. Hey, you are Yahweh. You are Yahweh. Hey, you are Yahweh. We call you Yahweh. You are Yahweh. Yahweh, you are Yahweh. 
Open your mouth and thank God. Just thank God. Open your mouth and thank God. 
Even thank God for the victory he grants Prophet Estella. Thank you. Father, we Disappoint me. Oh, you made yourself in my life, and I've come to realize you are too faithful to fail me. Lord, you are, you are, you are too faithful to fail me. Oh, yes, you are. You are too faithful to disappoint me. Yes, you, Lord, you've proven yourself in my life. And I've come to realize you're too faithful to fill me. So and I feel you, and I feel you. You are, you are, you are too, too faithful to fill me. Yes, you are, you are. You're too faithful to disappoint me. You're proven in yourself. You're proven yourself in my life. And I've come to realize you're too faithful to fill me. Say you are too faithful. You are too faithful to fill me. You are too faithful to fill me. You are, you are. Faithful to disappoint me. me. You're proven in yourself. You proven yourself in my life. And I've come to realize you're too faithful to fail me. Can you sing to everybody? You are too faithful. You are too faithful to fail me. Like yes, you, you are. Yes, you are. You are too faithful to disappoint me. You're proven in yourself. You're proven in yourself in my life. And I've come to realize you are too faithful to fill me. See it again. Say you are, you are too faithful to fail. That's who yes. you are. Faithful God. Disappoint me. You've proven yourself. You've proven yourself in my life. And I've come to realize you are too faithful to fill me. You are sing it to the king of everybody. You are too faithful to fail me. You are too faithful. You are too faithful to disappoint me. Yourself in my life, you know, and I come to realize you're too faithful to fail. Without the instrument, just the wording. You are too faithful. You are too faithful to fail me. You are, you are, Lord. You are too faithful to disappoint me. You've proven it yourself. You prove yourself in my life. And I come to realize you are too faithful to fail me. Let's go again three more times. You are too faithful. You are too faithful to fail me. Yes, Lord, you are too faithful. You are too faithful to disappoint me. Say you've proven it yourself. You proved yourself in my life. And I come to realize you are too faithful to fail me. Everybody, everybody. You are, yes, you are. You are too faithful to fail me. Faithful. You are too faithful to disappoint me. 
You prove it in yourself. You prove it yourself in my life. And I've come to realize you are too faithful to fail me. Say you are too faithful. You are too faithful to fail me. That's who you are. You are. You are too faithful to disappoint me. Oh, you've proven it yourself. You've proven it yourself in my life. And I've come to realize you are too faithful to fail me. Say you are too faithful. You are too faithful to fail me. You are, you are too faithful. You are too faithful to disappoint me. Three more times, everybody. You are ready yourself. yourself in my life. And I've come to realize you are too faithful to fail. One more time, everybody, everybody, everybody. You are too faithful. You are too faithful to fail me. That's who you are too faithful. You are too faithful to disappoint me. You prove it in yourself. Yes, you did. In yourself, in my life. I come to realize you are too faithful to fail me. You prove yourself in my life, and I come to realize you are too faithful to fail. Can you repeat that one with me? You prove it yourself. You prove yourself in my life. And I come to realize you are too faithful to fail me. Lord, oh. you prove it yourself. You prove yourself in my life. And I come to realize you are too faithful to fail me. Sit down. You prove yourself in my life, and I come to realize you are too faithful to fail me. You're expecting money, huh? Yes, sir. But <laughs> the way things are, you don't even know whether it's going to happen. Yes, sir. Because it has been from one battle to another. Yes, sir. This money is very big. Yes, sir. But a lot of litigation, court case. Yes, sir. But there's going to be a manifestation. Amen. Amen. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. God is releasing that money. That yes. money. Oh. Oh. Bring him here. Ooh. I see a TV ministry. A very big one. Amen. Amen. You, are, you are going to see the way you build that church. Amen. It's going to be like a miracle. Amen, Papa. Amen. Uh, it's not just only that. The church will overflow now. Amen. I'm not hearing him. Can you power that? Because there's going to be a change. Amen. I see a multiplication of grace. Amen. Uh, I thought they are shouting. I see a multiplication of grace. Amen. There's going to be some level of dimension you will enter Amen. that will amaze you. Amen. The Lord said, Behold, I will raise up men from the north, from Amen. the south, from Amen. the east, from Amen. the west. Amen. And they will gather to your barn. Amen. Your basket shall not be empty. Amen. Your harvest has come. Amen. Share the Lord of hosts. Your harvest has come. Igada, 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 bring him here. Jata para, look here. Pahar Jata baya, bring him here. Ika para ta sutaya, pa masute Igaba, bring him here. Lika para tu sataba, Ika sutaba. Bring him here. Ikusata libra sutaya. Bring him here. Likapa suta barata suta ya. A fresh grace. Bring him here. Bring him here. 
Libra Sutara Brigham here, stand him here, Lita Brigham here, stand him here, leave him to stand. Let's bring him here, Ita Prata to Shata. Hey, hey, bring him here, stand him here. What is happening? Eh? I don't know. You don't know? I don't have to. Yeah. I go have this up here. Yeah. Uh, How are you feeling? Papa. Why? What is, why is your leg bent like that? I don't know. No boom. Eh? No power. No boom. You no. Know? Help him to stand. Help him to stand. How are you feeling? Eh? Oh, something have entered me. Something have entered you. Oh. Eh? What is wrong? Uh, What's happening to your eye? Uh, it's hot. It's hot. Uh, 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 Where did it happen? I don't know. Oh! Ah, oh. <laughs> you carry me when some carry their God. You feed me, Lord. When some feet they are gone, you fight for me. How are you now? When some fight, yes, sir. you were doing like this, mellow, 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 mellow. It's like it's like they debone me. They, yes, they debone me. Debone you as yes. if you don't have bone. Yes, ah. but the bone has come back. Yes, no. Okay. <laughs> you say it's like they debone him. My sons of prophet, are they here English? <laughs> the bone. I need a medical doctor to substantiate and explain. The, the bone. They removed the bone. Because the way he was doing, I say, hey, because I never know this anointing has got to this level now. They debone people now. <laughs> you don't know what has happened to you. God told me this morning oh. that a new level has come. Oh. That my father. You, He's taking me to his you, you will come to testify. Amen, Papa. You, Amen, Papa. You're already a great man. Amen, Papa. I thought they are shouting. Why are Amen. they jealous? Don't be jealous. Don't be jealous. <laughs> Don't be jealous. <laughs> Somebody shot fire. Fire. You are Jesus. You never use me play on. Things will begin to change around your life. You struggle as a missionary. Eh? Yes, sir. The missionary. Yes, sir. You struggle so much. So much. Sir. There, even your family members they are even laughing at you. Yes, sir. They are even asking you if you Father, even understand what you are doing. Father, I don't know what to do. Because there's a lot of confusion. Yes, sir. I hear a name like he do order or something like that it do order please if that's your name come it do order there's a lot of struggle struggle sir too much family struggle. members are even telling you that this is how you are going to continue yes sir that's true because sir. you are really battling to make things work for everybody yes, sir. a lot of work. this has affected everything around you that's true sir but there's going to be a change amen from now on the struggle is over amen papa help me oh Help me, Papa. Where do you serve? I serve in Taraba State. In Taraba. In, in Takum. What are you really doing there? I'm into I'm into missions up to the borders of Cameroon, into Cameroon. Oh. I take care of orphans. I have we have a school now. I take care about 700 children there. 700 of free in the free. school. Yes, sir. I take care of widows, less privilege. That's what we are talking about. 700 of Yes, sir. Do you have a picture? Yes, sir. Bring the picture, let me see. Mm. That's what we are doing. 700 offers. Free. Hold on. It's not that he has the whole money. Some of you, what are you even doing for the gospel? You are asking, when will I after? When will I have this? Well, that's why God don't want to bless you. Mm -hmm. 
been going through a lot, sir. Yes, sir. Your health is affected. In fact, it's a miracle that you are still standing. There was an attack, like stroke, that almost claimed your life. Is it true, sir? Huh? Answer me, answer me. Oh, oh. Is it's it true? true, it's true. He has not enjoyed his health at all. No, sir, no, sir. God is going to heal him now. Amen. Every arrow of death programmed against your life is going back to the sender. These are your children. Uh, yes, sir. I'm seeing myself in Benway. Yes, sir. There's a lot of problem. Yes, sir. There's battle from your family, my brother. If not, this battle you would have been enjoying. I see yes, somebody, sir. I yes, see somebody sir. like yes, a lecturer, yes, like a lecturer. Yes, sir. Professor. A professor. Yes, sir. A professor. Yes. Sir. Answer me, sir. Please. Yes. Oh, yes. don't cry, please. God will heal you. Amen. The children are under spiritual battles. Yes, sir. But today it is going to be over. Amen. They have attacked his prosperity, attack everything. Yes, sir. God is going to change the story. Amen. This is a big girl. This is my daughter. Oh. Is this one? Yeah. Yes. Third daughter. A big girl. Which gift? Which Kasi Nami? Nami. Battles are over now. Amen. I want to pray for you to be healed. Yes, Amen. Sir. You will not die. Amen. They don't want you to cross this year at all. Fire. But God is going to free you now. Amen. Can you help them shout that fire well? Let him be free, healed in the name of Jesus. I declare you healed in Jesus' name. Amen. Give Jesus a name. Can you show this? Can you show put that? So in Takum, there. You take care of these kids. I take care of them at the border of Cameroon. We call that place Pambopuri. Call it again. Pambopuri. And they are orphans. They are orphans. They are less privileged. There are orphans less privileged among them. All. Oh. I would love to see you after the service. You yes, hear sir. me? Thank you, sir. We would love to be part of the project. Thank you, sir. Don't worry. You okay. hear me? How do you source fund to help them? Through individuals that are that hear my testimonies and they are ready to give 500, 1,000 dollars to take care of the place. Oh. And there are some widows that personally are sacrificed to take care of them, give them allowances. Oh. Some I give them 2,000 every month. Oh. From the little you have? Yes, sir. You don't need to have the whole world. That's how it should be. I will see. There's a new level God is taking you to, brother. You, 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 you. A new level. Amen. Come here, come here, come here, come here. There's no male that tried to make it in the family. 
Yes, they sir, it's true, cut sir. them down. It's very true, sir. And there's one, an ancestral worship. Exactly, sir. Very strong one exactly, in the family. Exactly, sir. I struggle to do everything. Even you, even what you are even doing, and they're attacking it. Every day, attack. Every time. Bring him here. Bring him here. I thought they are shouting that amen well. I thought you were shouting that amen well. Maybe if you shout that amen well. There's a new level God is taking you to in ministry. You desire the prophetic so much. There's a new level. Those who have loved you, tell them your day don't break today. I thought they are shouting that amen. Shout that amen if you believe in women in ministry. Somebody shout fire. I see God is about to use this sister to do mighty things. Mighty things. Sister, you will surprise many people. Grace like never before. I thought they are shouting that amen word. Shout that amen three times. Amen. 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 There's something God will do between now and July. It's part of your prayer during the crossover. God has answered you now. Uh, I thought they are shouting that amen. Sister, you have experienced too much delay. Amen. And God said it is over now. Amen. I thought they are shouting that amen. amen. Maybe if the amen is louder, somebody is coming out. Amen. I break the yoke out of your life. Mike. 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 You're not answering me. I will leave you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, huh? sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mike. Chibata. There's a lot of struggles. Yes, sir. You are in ministry. Yes, sir. But there's a lot of struggle. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This is prevailing word yes, assembly. Sir. Is that your ministry? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Prevailing word yes, sir. assembly. Yes, sir. But they have tied you down. Yes, Nothing sir. seems to be working. Yes, sir. At all. Victoria, God is about to do something Amen. that will shock you. Amen. I see twins. Amen. I see twins. Amen. That delay is over. Amen. They are too jealous around this area. They don't want to show. Amen. The, the way they are amen. jealous around this area, they will not make me prophesy. Shout that amen like thunder. Amen. Are you married? Amen. Where is she? Where is she? I need to talk to you about her, eh? Yes, sir. Eh? Yes, sir. You will not bury her. Amen. Come, 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 come. Let me touch you. Mm. You are too faithful to fail me. You are too faithful to disappoint me. You've proven yourself in my life And I've come to realize You are too faithful to fail me People have laughed at you Yes, sir God has yes, used you for so many people Yes, sir But your own, you cannot solve your yes, own problem They are saying, if God has called you Why have you not been able to solve this problem? Yes, sir. They have used your predicament to love you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. They have used it to insult you. Thank yes, sir. Father. Father. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sometimes, as a iron, you can sharpen under iron and not be sharpened yourself. You need another iron to sharp you. That's the secret. You will use your own iron. You'll be sharpening other iron. As a result of helping others, you'll go blunt. (laughs) 
You've proven yourself in my life And I've come to realize You are too faithful to fail me Monday, Tuesday of this fasting, God gave me a specific prayer point. And the prayer point was saying, say, son, pray that what gives you joy will not make you cry throughout this year. And I was praying Monday, Tuesday, rolling in the house, apart from coming here. Lord, I don't understand what you mean. God hid it from me. But I prayed about it. It's good to listen to the Holy Spirit. So what gives you joy? It will not make you cry throughout this year. I didn't, even, I didn't understand what it means. My son, Rema, was in the same vehicle. But God is too faithful to fail. May you not see battles of life. Oh. Hey. Sister, your chapter is open. You've gone through a lot. Amen. The way your mother suffered is the same thing that you are going through now. Amen. Because there's a lot of trouble, 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 trouble. Yes. But daddy said it's going to be over now. Amen. Oh. The battle is over. Arrow of death is over. Ooh. I saw the Holy Ghost pulling you out of a pit. You are no longer in that pit anymore. I don't know where they have kept you, but I pull you out. I thought you were shouting that amen. Well. Maybe if the amen is louder, somebody is coming out. Somebody is coming out. Where's your wife? Eh? In the house. Eh? In the state. Where? Yeah, those states. There's a lot of battle around her life. Yes, sir. She's not okay with herself. Yes, sir. Eh? Yes, sir. There's an attack yes, on her health. Yes, sir. Eh? Yes, sir. I look at something that look like depression. Yes, sir. I'm not hearing you. Yes, sir. Like depression. Yeah. It's not enjoying a health at all. Yes, sir. This is the end of the battle now. Amen. This is prophetic. Only God can reveal this. What's going on here? It's an huh? attack. On who? It's like a father to me. Under this attack, yes, sir. Where is he now? He's in the village. He's in the village, yes, sir. Okay, that's no, right here. There's a lot of series of battles in the family, strongly, yes, sir. But today it is over now. Amen. I thought they are shouting that amen well. Amen. Distance is not a barrier. Hey, I just had 10, 17, 19 years barrenness. God is opening their womb right now. Amen. I thought they are shouting that amen. Amen. I'm seeing a male child. I thought they are shouting that amen. Amen. Shout that amen like thunder. Amen. You are free. Amen. Somebody shout fire. Fire. I thought you were shouting that fire better. Fire. Oh. You you are struggling. You are 
you have been with the ministry for some time now. Yes, sir. Eh? Yes, sir. You are, you are even confused. Yes, sir. The problem that is going on is like, uh, yes, sir. They don't believe in the prophetic. I believe in the prophetic. That place don't believe in the prophetic. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You have been under attack. Yes, sir. And this has affected so many things around you. Yes, sir. But things will begin to change. Amen. You, you have put in so many years in ministry. Yes, sir. It's about 20 now. Yes, sir. Things will begin to turn around. Amen. I thought the church is shouting amen. Amen. Maybe I should stop here, Abby. Amen. God is about to turn your story around. Amen. Was that man that met Jesus in the night? Is he Nicodemus? Nicodemus, sir. Okay. Is that yes. your name? Yes, sir. You're Nicodemus. Yes, sir. Yes, you are Nicodemus. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, Did you Nicodemusly yes, came or you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I came on day time, sir. On day time. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. He said he came yes, on day time. Yes, your, sir. your own Nicodemus came by day time. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. <laughs> Don't mind me. I'm joking. <laughs> Things will begin to turn around. Amen. Stand up. You want the fresh fire of the prophetic yes, so much. Sir. Yes, sir. Yes, Who is David? He's my son. Who is Angel? He's my last daughter. Desire. That's my second first daughter. Oh. Tapa. Shataba. Only God can reveal this. Bring him. Aurora one. Bring him here. Bring him here. Demonstration of the power of God. Somebody shot fire. Fire. Oh. Wherever they have forgotten you, they will remember you. Amen. Come here. I'm seeing money entering the family. Amen. The Lord said the struggle is Amen. over. Amen. And some of the vision God has shown your wife Amen. will begin to manifest. Amen. Bring him here. Bring him. This can only be the Bring him. Come here. You are the bad there. Yes. You. 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 Yes. Come with the yellow. Come. There's a new chapter the Lord is taking you into. A new chapter. A new chapter. I don't see a new level. Stand. 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 It's just a fresh iron. Bring him. Shaprata. Bring him here, Zuta. Bring him here. Woo. Bring him here. Bring him here. Come here. You are going to command attention of people the way you never expect. I just saw men surrounding you. Important man. Bring him here. Bring him here. Some of you are asking God of what you already have. I want to steer it at. Bring him here. There's something inside. You're asking God for what you have. Ah, he shut up. I see grace. Amen. Grace, pick him up. Oh, somebody shut fire. fire. Shut fire. fire. Everywhere they have forgotten you, they will remember you. Amen. Sister, I see a celebration. Yes, I see a celebration. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. There is a celebration. I don't know how it's going to happen, but something is going to happen this year that will make you dance. I thought they are shouting. Am I prophesying to somebody? I just started. Maybe I should drop the mic down. Ikata, pa! Somebody shot fire. Shot fire. Shot fire. I thought you are shouting that fire well. Shout that fire like thunder. Shout that fire like thunder. Where's your wife? Is she with you? You, you, you. She's not here. I want to give you people children today. Shato Anyone that say you will not carry your baby, they die and you carry your baby. Something has to die for this one to come. The Lord said, any 
will hold in your glory. I kill them for your glory to manifest. God is going to give you your children. Amen. And not only give you your children, He will use you to give other barren women children. I felt it. Yeah. Sir, I saw you telling me the dream. The you same told me thing. the dream. You told me the dream. God said, I will use him to give other party women children. Amen. Not only giving you children. Amen. Ah. Prophetic. Bring him here. Shata. Baralusia. Shata. Hey. Bring him here. Zupra. Ta. 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 There are three major doors the Lord just opened before you. You have been expecting money for so long. You get close to it, yes. it's scatter. Yes. You get close to it, yes. it's scatter. Yes. You add a business deal, Lagos, every other place, it's scatter. Yes, These are several volume of millions. But God said to me, the door has just opened now. Amen. If I be a true man of God, the delay is over. Amen. The delay is over. Amen. The delay. Bring him here. Bring him here. Ah. Shadabush. Igabash. You are too faithful to fail me. You are too faithful, faithful to, to disappoint, disappoint me. me. Uh -huh. You prove yourself in my life, life. and I've come, come to realize you are too faithful, faithful to fail me. me. You prove yourself in my, my life. life. And I come to realize you are too faithful to fail me. Brother, you are so down with the challenges you are going with your business. The business is down. Finances, nothing to write home about. You run an NGO. Yes, sir. You have a company. Yes, sir. Contracts are not coming. Yes, sir. Everything looks so hard. But you, this was not the way it used to be yes, before. True. The Lord said the story will turn around. Yes, I, I thought you are shouting that yes, in. Yes. And this thing happened. I saw you holding four mango fruit. And out of the four, one was taken away. Yes, sir. Yes, Does this make sense? Make sense sir. You lost one of the child. Yes, sir. Yes, Is it true? true? After you lost this child, yes, everything just start going down, 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 down. Yes, and the way the child died is mysterious. Yes, yes, God said there's about to be a change. Amen, uh, I thought they, I thought they are shouting, Amen. Amen. This is forensic. Only God can reveal. Oluwati milenyi. Eh? Yeah. Because God said to me, things will begin to turn around. I thought they are shouting. There have been a lot of struggle. I am taken to Kogi State in the name of the Spirit. And I enter a place called Ayetoro there. Is it true? And I move with the angel of prophecy. We landed in Lube. And I hear in my right ear, mercy. Does it make sense to you? You prove yourself in my life. And I come to realize you are too faithful to fail me. God is about to open seven doors for you, my brother. Seven doors. This trouble is over. Those who laugh at your family are about to bow. Can I prophesy? Your resort is about to insult your enemy. Your resort is about to silence your enemy. The way they are shouting that they mean, I don't know whether they are ready. Whatever they have done against your life, today I open the door. Amen. Favor. This is 
a amount of uncommon favor. As I prophesy as your prophet, uncommon favor come to your life. Uncommon favor. Uncommon favor. Uncommon favor. Changes is coming now. Amen. Amen. God says He wants to surprise the family. Amen. Amen. And this is your season. Thank Amen. you, Jesus. Nobody can take it away. Thank Amen. you, Jesus. Good luck. Thank yes, you, sir. Jesus. That makes sense. Yes, sir. It makes sense to you. He's yes, my sir. second That's son. The child was really good luck. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh. <laughs> it's over now. Amen. <laughs> oh. It's over. It's over now. Destiny is Thank you, Jesus. The power Afraid. of God is here. Thank you. There's a lot of struggle. Yes, sir. This, in the family. It's true, man of God. No, that is true. Everybody is just in one place. It's true, daddy. It's true, daddy. Eh? That is true. So much struggle. So true, much sir. struggle. It's true, sir. I'm seeing myself in Kaduna. Yes, sir. I'm from Kaduna. Hey. You're from Kaduna. I'm from Kaduna. Dad. I'm from Kaduna. Kaduna. Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. I'm from Kaduna. Ah. Yes, sir. Ah, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Ah, thank you, Jesus. They have blocked and attacked everything. Everything. Yes, sir. It's true that. But there's going to be testimony. Amen. I thought you were shouting. Godwin. Yes, sir. You are Godwin. That is my name, Daddy. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah. Yeah. Ah. Ah. Jonah. Jonah. Oh, ah, yeah, come. That's your senior brother. Jonah, you are the senior brother. I'm the senior brother. Jonah. Oh, ah. ah. This can only be the power of God. Really. You, you lost something dear to you. Your child. Your child died mysteriously. Is it true, Jonah? Uh, hey. I called. The way the child died is mysterious. It's true, Daddy. It's true, sir. It was you they were targeting to kill before they attacked the child. Oh, thank you, Lord. Things is about to change. Amen. Or be a for something like that. Who is? Yes, you are the one. Yes, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oliver. Yes, sir. Oliver. It's me, sir. You're a prophet. Yes, sir. You used to call yourself prophetic Oliver. Yes, sir. Ah, it's true, Daddy. It's true, sir. Prophesy, Daddy. <laughs> Ministry has been struggling. Everything. Yes, Things are about to change now. Amen. Some of you are jealous. Hallelujah. You are jealous. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, Hallelujah. Amen. Amen, Daddy. Uh, Amen, Daddy. Thank you, Jesus. Things will begin to change. Amen. Amen. Yes, money is about to enter the family. Amen. Breakthrough is about to enter Amen. the family. This is a new beginning for the family. Amen. I thought they are shouting that Amen. Ah. <laughs> Bring them here. Stand all of you here. Come here, all of you. Come here, all of you. Look here. Look here. Ah. You are too faithful to fail me. You are too faithful to disappoint me. You've proven yourself in my life. 
and I come to realize you are so faithful to fail me. Come on, you are too faithful to fail me. Yes, you are too faithful to disappoint me. You prove yourself in my life, and I come to realize you are too faithful to fail. Can you sing it three more times for me? You are too faithful. You are too faithful to fail me. You are too faithful. You are too faithful to disappoint me. You're proving yourself. You're proving yourself in my life. And I come to realize you are too faithful to fail. Can you sing it for me to the Lord? Yeah. You are too faithful to fail. Disappoint me, Lord. You're proving yourself. You're proving yourself in my life, and I come to realize you are too faithful to fail me. Say you are too faithful. You are too faithful to fail me. Too faithful, Lord. Too faithful. You are too faithful to disappoint me. Never prove it yourself. Prove it yourself in my life. And I come to realize you are too faithful to fail. For the last time, for the last time. Never. You are, you are faithful to fail me. You are, you are. You are too faithful to disappoint me. You're proving it yourself. You're proving yourself in my life. And I come to realize you are too, too faithful, faithful to fail me. Sit down. Oh, Jesus. Some of you are asking God for something that you have to be prepared to handle hear me be prepared let your spirit be open to handle what God is about to give to you why are you complaining why are you complaining why are you complaining oh, baby, eh? Eh? God is faithful yes. he will do it Amen. Oh. can you start thanking him so that he can do it Yes, sir. You love God. Yes. But of late, your complaint is getting too much. It's not easy. When you talk, it hits your man very much. He behaves like a man and go behind. No. There's a future. Amen. Amen. You've Amen. not made mistake. Oh. There's going to be a miracle this year. Amen. Amen. There is nothing impossible for God to do. Oh. If the oracle of God has said it, so shall it be with the backing of the Holy Spirit. Sister, the chain is removed now. Congratulations. Amen. Congratulations. Amen. Are you married? Do you want to get married? Huh? Yes. Congratulations. Come here. Ooh. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. I thought they are shouting that amen well. Amen. Shout the amen like thunder. Amen. Six of you have been tied down in your father's family. Six of you. Yes, sir. It's just living yes. opposite of everything you Nothing desire. Nothing is working, sir. It is over now. Amen. Where's your mother? Come, come, come. Oh. 
there's a lot of things that is happening from your father's family yes, you have to pray true. that affliction should not rise the second time in your life jesus i want to cancel this strange stubborn push can i pray for somebody every stubborn pursuer fire pursuing your life fire i send them back to sender hey, Amen. anyone pursuing you we fall in the pits they have done hey, Amen. i thought you were shouting that name and well hey, mighty lord jesus might mighty lord jesus fire all over you Stop. Fire. Ooh. Hey, I'm just seeing children following me about. Hey, you are buried. <laughs> buried women, congratulations. Amen. There is a rain of baby here. Amen. I thought they are shouting amen. amen. I thought they are shouting that amen. amen. Whatever is your desire, they are manifested. Amen. I said they are manifested. Amen. I said they are manifested. Amen. Shout that amen like thunder. Amen. Shout the amen like thunder. Amen. Shout the amen like thunder. Amen. This is the arena of fruitfulness. Why are you running now? What is your problem? Huh? What is your problem with this girl? What is your problem? Leave her alone. Girl, what have you done to her? I've Fire. Megila. Megila. Eh? Megila. Leave this one. I've Fire. Fire. What have you done to her? Do you know, I vowed that she would never get married. Eh? But your God. So what do you do to the man that comes to her life? Your God brought a man to her life. Eh? And I said, okay. Since she has succeeded in getting married, let me see how she will enjoy this marriage. So you don't want her to enjoy the marriage? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. She can't do. Okay. She can't. I've seized everything. Sometime. Everything about her. This is the thing I'm talking about. Pack your load out of her. Fire. Phew. Fire over the you. you can see what that. have you done? What have you done? Just by a touch from the oracle of God. At the mention of Jesus, every demon tremble, every tongue confess that Jesus is God. Fire! 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 Just a touch from the oracle of God. I need to do a lot of impartation today. Somebody shot fire. Let me clear my workload before I begin to flow and forget that I need to pray for a lot of people. Somebody shot fire. Fire. Somebody shot fire. Fire. Mm. Pastors on impartation, please come, come, come. Those of you who booked for impartation. And I get the choir, powerful one.
understand something when it comes to impartation like this you have to understand touching you just a touch a touch you say ah, papa need to lay all all his weight on me just a touch and all of you sons and daughters tomorrow i said i'm going to have a general meeting with you people one more time and i've always said this when you come to see your father make time and room available don't be in a hurry open your spirit there's no impartation we do secretly that's why we put you on camera so that somebody don't say papa joshua gila i have something to give them secretly this is the reason for this open touch i drop my hands on you it's not the hands of men that which you desire. Just say it in your mind what you want to see. That's all. It will manifest. You've heard testimonies. Choir. You make my life so beautiful. And I feel you have made me here on earth. There's nothing greater than me. That's why I love you forevermore. You make my life so beautiful, and I feel you have made me here on earth. There's nothing greater than this. That's why I love you forever. Us. This is the live service right here in Champions Royal Assembly, Chika Korekubwa Abuja. And this is the impartation for pastors with our Father in the Lord, Papa Joshua Iginla. This is impartation for pastors, fresh fire for fresh starts. Watch your screen. As you can see, pastors have been impacted with the power of the Holy Ghost to do exceedingly and abundantly because there is nothing impossible for God to do. Watch your screen. This is the demonstration of the power of God through the oracle of God. Papa Joshua Iginla, call the numbers on your screen and our counselors will put you through. Distance is not a barrier. Wherever you are, place your hands on your screen. That as pastors have been impacted, you are also impacted because he is the God yesterday, today, and forever. Tous les spectateurs ont le moment. Le moment auquel tout le monde est entendu. Nous regardons les patrons par l'homme de Dieu. Par notre papa Joshua Ingil, l'apôtre lui-même. Qui conduit les plantations. 
sur les hommes de Dieu, les pasteurs, les prophètes, les apôtres, et aussi les hommes d'affaires. Ce n'est pas seulement pour les hommes de Dieu, mais aussi les hommes d'affaires. La distance n'est pas une barrière. Vous pouvez copier les numéros dans vos écrans et appeler. Les conseils sont là pour vous diriger et vous montrer comment de s'enregistrer. Pour aussi les patations, les témoignages auxquels vous, vous écoutez, vous entendez partout, vous regardez. C'est par l'implantation auquel qui a été conduit par l'homme de Dieu, Papa Joshua Nguila. Ainsi que vous avez écouté, si vous venez ici par la foi, vous saurez aussi vos implantations pour vos affaires, pour l'explosion dans vos ministères, dans n'importe ce que vous faites en vie. Soyez connectés avec nous. Si vous regardez la télévision champion, la télévision auquel qui donne les potations aussi, par la foi, vous aurez vos miracles. Par la puissance du Saint-Esprit, l'homme de Dieu fait son travail. Au nom de Jésus. You are the same Yesterday, today, forever Nobody is like you You never change Yesterday, today, forever Nobody loves me like you You are the same Those of you that book for deliverance, quickly, 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 let me attend to them. Go on. I'm on wanna pick up the Lord. Yeah, man. Yesterday, today, forever Nobody is like you Say you never change You never say Yesterday Yesterday, yesterday, today, forever. Nobody loves me. Nobody loves me like you. 
lost me See again, say you never, you never change. Yesterday, yesterday, today, forever. Nobody is, nobody is like you. You never change. You never change. Yesterday, yesterday, today, forever. Nobody loves me. Nobody loves me like you. Say ah ah. You have to understand. Deliverance is not done by a man of God, it's done by Jesus. And one name of Jesus is enough to cast billions of demons away. So when I say in the name of Jesus, I've lighted that fire that can set any power that is unclean ablaze on fire. And so your heart must be open. We don't need to spend three hours with you before you know your demons are, are out. Just one touch. Your sickness, your affliction, the battle that brought you here is over. If you are trusting God for fruit of the womb, put your hands on your stomach when I get to you. If your own case is general, don't worry, I will touch you. Things will begin to change. Choir. Today, today, forever Nobody is like you You never change Yesterday, today, forever Nobody loves me like you Come on, choir, say You never change Yesterday, Your voice and say, uh, yesterday, yesterday, today, forever, the Bible speaking in Jeremiah 1 8. Do not be afraid of their faces, I am with you to deliver you. Hear the Lord. If you are just joining us, this is. If you're just joining us, this is the life service of Champions Real Assembly, Chikakore Kubwa, Abuja. And this is the atmosphere of deliverance with our Father in the Lord, Papa Joshua Ikenla. What is the medical condition? Watch your screen. This is a clear demonstration of the power of God. Just by a I touch. Hmm. She's been burning anyhow. Hmm. Hey, fire is this. Hey. Two. One from her father's house. Out. And just by a word of declaration, she is free and free indeed. There is nothing impossible for the God of Champions Real Assembly to do. He's the God of all possibilities. Don't give up on life. There is power that can deliver you, redefine your destiny, set you free from bondage. And that is the power of God. Watch your screen. Just a touch from the oracle of God. And destinies are redefined. Call the numbers on your screen. And our counselors will put you through on how to book for your deliverance. Because the God of this commission, Champions Real Assembly, is the God of all possibilities. Les prêtres mondiaux, nous sommes maintenant dans l'atmosphère de la délivrance. La délivrance, tu es seulement conduit par l'homme de Dieu, par la puissance du Saint-Esprit au nom de Jésus. 
par la puissance du Saint-Esprit, au nom de Jésus. Vous regardez sur le temps, c'est le moment, regardez comment les esprits mieux les démons manifestent. You can see the manifestation. Watch the reaction. Just by a touch from the oracle of God. This is the demon reacting. Where did it one? You say what? I put this glass for a How many of you are inside the body? Ah. Ah. Light and darkness have no part together. This is the demon reacting in her. Watch the screen. You can see the manifestation. What have you done to her? I, I want to diss her. Oh. How many of you are inside the body? Huh? Five. Five. Yes. From which kingdom? From which kingdom? What? Fire! From which kingdom? From which kingdom? Eh? Okay. Today, pack your load. Let her be free. And just by a word of declaration, she is free and free indeed. At the mention of Jesus, every knee must bow and everything confess that Jesus is Lord. Call the numbers on your screen and book for your deliverance. Telespector, c'est toujours l'atmosphère de la délivrance qui continue. Par la puissance du Saint-Esprit, dans l'homme de Dieu, notre Papa Joshua Nila qui continue. Et au nom de Jésus, ceux qui sont dans des troubles avec ces démons, oh, ils yeah. disent mieux les malades, n'importe, sera des challenges et reçoivent l'air dans les France. La distance n'est pas une barrière. Vous pouvez seulement copier les numéros dans vos écrans, appeler. Les conseils sont là pour vos conseils et pour vous montrer comment les enregistrer. La distance n'est pas une barrière. Touchez vos écrans comme ceux-ci sont libres par la puissance du Saint-Esprit, par la déclaration de l'homme de Dieu au nom de Jésus. Vous serez libre. Soyez connectés avec nous. Vous regardez la télévision champion. Ou soit vous êtes ici dans la congrégation. Ayez la foi et vous serez vos délivrance au nom de Jésus. I call you Jehovah, you answer my prayer. Yeah. Jehovah, you answer my prayer. I call you Jehovah, you answer my prayer. I sing hallelujah, you answer my prayer. I call you Jehovah, you answer my prayer. Jesus, 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 somebody worship, somebody pray. Somebody worship, somebody pray. I call you Jehovah, you answer my prayer. I sing hallelujah, you answer my prayer. I call you Jehovah, you answer my prayer. Let me hear. Come on. Let me hear. Come on. Let me hear. Let 
to send to Lama. Hey, get the Lama, I went on to get the Lama. Send to Lama, I went on to send to Lama. Get the Lama, I went on to get the Lama. Toujours la délivrance qui continue, téléspectateurs. Nous sommes à l'atmosphère de la délivrance. Parlons de Dieu, notre papa Joshua Nguila. Dans la puissance du Saint-Esprit, au nom de Jésus-Christ de Nazareth. Voici, par la déclaration, par une touche seulement, ils sont libres de cet esprit mieux, de ces esprits, de ces démons qui les tromblent, ceux qui sont malades. Regardez la démonstration et l'éraration. Comme tu seras libre, vous serez libre. Copiez le numéro seulement dans vos écrans et appelez. Les conseils sont là pour vous conseiller, pour vous montrer comment s'enregistrer et recevoir sa délivrance. Dans la puissance du Saint-Esprit, au nom de Jésus, regarde, regardez la réaction. Par une touche seulement, par la touche, et notre papa, je suis là. En l'absence du Saint-Esprit, au nom de Jésus, son libre. If you are just joining us, this is the life service of Champions Real Assembly, Chikakuri Kubwa, Abuja. And this is the atmosphere of deliverance, miracles. With our Father and the Lord, Papa Joshua Iginla. And right now is the prayer for pregnant women. Have you been called barren? Locate Champions Real Assembly and be fruitful. Do you want to carry your children? Call the numbers on your screen and put the God of this commission to a test. He is the same God yesterday, today and forever. The God of Papa Joshua Iginla. He never fails. He never slumber. Don't give up. Don't be depressed. Don't be oppressed. Because he is the same God yesterday, today, and forever, man. Call the numbers on your screen, and our counselors will put you through. On how to book, locate the city of wonder, the city of fruitfulness. Keep watching Champions Television. Keep watching Champions Television Plus. The God of this commission is a supernatural God. Call the numbers and book for your deliverance. Somebody shot fire. Are you prepared? Someone shot fire. I ask you to bring what and what? Oil and what? Huh? Only just oil. Is it only oil and fruit? Is it only oil? Only just oil? Huh? An happy fruit. Walking tools. Huh? If you don't have, don't run and go out. Before you go home and come back, I would have closed. Just stay and we pray for you. Hallelujah. But some champions now, they can go home to go and bring walking tools. Don't do that. Eh? I would have closed. Someone shot fire. Shot fire. Shot fire. fire. I'm not hearing you well. Fire. Wherever they have closed your door, I command it to be open. I command it to be open. I command it to be open. Someone shot fire. Stand up, everybody. How many of you are blessed? Today we are rounding up our seven days fasting and prayer, isn't it? And we are going to pray seven prayer points. Seven prayer points. Just seven. Please stand up. Those who are outside, please tell them to come in before the discover of clues. Someone shot fire. I'm not hearing you well. I'm not hearing you well. Shout that fire well. Say, my father, do something in my life. 
There are no human beings that take glory. No Open your mouth and pray. My Let father, do something in my life. Oh Lord, no human beings can take do glory. Do something in my life. Don't know you can take it. Let that be. 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 Let
in Nigeria, in Nigeria, perpetrators of this art, those who are carrying out this art, may they pay with their lives. Open your mouth and pray. So Secretary, 
in Jesus say my father father those who are waiting for me to fail those who are waiting to raise them in 2020 use my testimony to disgrace them open your mouth and pray in Jesus name Amen. Amen. you are going to walk around and pray this one or tap your re or rebi unfriendly friend frenemies some of you 90% of your life trouble is people who are blowing breeze on your body or they are biting you oh no that that rat has long mouth it will blow you breeze to bite you it can dig a hole on your leg while you are enjoying it and you think it's a scratch that's how some friends are around your life you're going to say, Oh Lord, oh Lord, deliver me from unfriendly friend, deliver, deliver me from, from unfriendly friend, expose them, expose them, and send real part of my life. Open your mouth and pray. Ya ba 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 
You don't understand this. A number one citizen of a nation, I will mention, sent a private invitation to me. I went there after much prayer. I got there. And we were talking. We said so many things that God led me to say. He asked me about a man of God. Very close to. And I started praising the man of God. Ah, oh, great man. Very good. Very genuine. Very. I was saying my perspective as per my good heart. He just throw it. You know, that's the way big men do. He was asking me an intelligent question. He threw it to me. And I just flow without. Innocently I talked. Very good things about this man of God. By the time I finish, he called his private aid. They brought a document. Then he showed me a petition. This person has written against me before I got there. And I know the man of God's signal. I know everything. And he smiled. And he said, well, I just showed you. I don't want to say anything. Just in case... Uh, you live here so that you know the person you are praising. And I became cold. Now every other thing that happened between me and him, it was not making sense to me anymore than and this same person was telling me, what did God reveal to you? Can you share with me before you guys say no? The Lord want me, don't say anything except you get to him. So there are people around your life you are praising that they are your helper. I said, Kokoroton Jeff, for a dear follower. Say, my father, my father. expose them around my life. Expose, expose them around, around my life. Open your mouth and pray. Ya <laughs> 
are going to pray for your life now. When the devil see, he can't stop you. He can't stop your future. He will try to claim your life. A lot of people you know died last year. You are going to pray for the one, the man standing here, the woman standing here, the girl standing here. You are going to pray for the child standing here. Say, Lord, Lord, grant me with long life. Grant I shall not life. die before my time. I shall not Open die your mouth and pray that prayer. <laughs> The Lord just opened my eyes. I saw the ancient of days by this altar. I saw the 24 elders. Mm -hmm. And the Lord said to me, said to them, I'm here to give them long life. Amen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Some of you, they have written at the age of 55, you go. Some, they say 47, you go. Fire. Some, they have put a peg at 67. Fire. Fire. As I'm talking right now, the Lord said, I want to extend your life. Amen. 
I saw strange powers casting spell on some of you to live before your time. Fire. Fire. Some of you ladies, they are waiting for you to have pregnancy and die with the baby. Fire. Make sure you are not sitting down. <laughs> Listen to me. I'm going to give you an opportunity for five minutes. You are going to pray the way you have never prayed. Because ah, I want to be a president. I want to be a governor. I want to get married. I want to have children. Ah, tell me about one me. That is if you have life. If you are not alive, that is the end of the chapter. You are going to pray the way you have never prayed. Please, pastors, don't be deceived. You need to pray for yourself. I have escaped death several times because of this covenant. I want you to pray this prayer the way you have never prayed it. Ah, oh God, oh, please, I wish, please, 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 I want you to pray this prayer well. Pray it well. Pray it well. I met with a young man, a man of God, and he looked at me and said, the doctors just told me my two kidneys are packed down. At any time, I can leave this world. No hope for money, nothing, nothing. You need to pray this prayer the way you have never prayed to enter into covenant of longevity. While you are praying that come, praying that prayer, connect with a seed to this altar. Be 20,000, 10,000, 1,000. As you pray, drop it on this altar and go back. God of this altar is about to take glory over your life. Amen. Amen. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Open your mouth and pray. If you have a drop on the altar, go. Don't stay. Drop it and go. Twenty, ten, five. Santa, Shasha for a Oba Chon Fimole Shasha for a 
Until I pray for them. Stretch your two, two hands to the altar. <laughs> that arm that is stretched here, that seed that is connected for long life, you will not go down. Ah, 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 ah. That death that has been programmed to kill you, let it swallow your enemies. Me, oh boy, I'm not here anywhere. Let it swallow your enemy. Hey, that pitch they dig for you. Let them fall into the pit. Amen. My name is Joshua Igila. By the covenant of long life upon my life, I prophesy whatever they are programmed concerning your life. Let your enemy eat their flesh. Amen. Let them cry your cry. Amen. Let them die your death. Amen. If it is a witch that is programming your downfall, if it is an abolish, if it is a woman being, if it is your competitor, if it is an ayah assassin, wherever they are, that they are programming your death, may they fall into the pit, may amen. they die your death. Amen. That amen is too low. Amen. That amen is too low. Amen. That amen is too low. Amen. Shout that amen like thunder. Shout the Amen 21 time. Amen. 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 Carry your apple fruit up. And your document at the same time. Oh, carry it. Don't worry, I will do that. Oh, if you don't have happy fruit, no problem. Carry your document. Just make sure you carry. Before you go and come back, I would have closed. Just stay where you are. Lift it up. Lift it up. Hmm. Bagbara, he walk on you. Mashe Sulahu, Bagbara. He never knew Kukua, Wali Bori or Kamiho. Abara Satani, Atobogure, Manikuda saw. 
na ye je baba to mo le sono mi o kuku la ye je o baba to mo le sono mi o sono to le ba to le fi ta ye lorun o si wa to le wu to le fi ta ye lorun ja ha to bi ju ja fu mi ja I told you to just for me. You want me to go to live? Oh, my salary, Lord. You want me to go to live? Oh, my salary, Lord. Some people, when they look how God was behaving, walking in my life, they say, ah, we don't know the secret of Igila. Some even lay claim that we took him to where he is. <laughs> this God, Holuwa Holuwa Wa, Alaru Alaru Mi, Olori Mi O Mashe, Ayera Ye, O Tukacho Kobi O, Imi Ati Shubo Ayapa, 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 Latuni Lo. Me at his failure, I am a I am a I am a Lord of Jesus. I am a I am a that to the Lord, he be at his failure, I am a I am a I am a Lord of Jesus. Lift up that oh. apple and your working material, not oil now. Oil will be the last one. Lift it up. <laughs> that profession, what you do for a living, is about to produce result. <laughs> Every barrenness attacking the source of your living. Are you selling answered? <laughs> Some people are into answered business. Okay. Okay, I laugh to me. Yeah, I laugh to you I will rush your lorry. Oh my, sharp with you, me love by you. Okay. I just saw one man go holding his phone, and I said, "Are you selling phone?" He says, "Waiting for a lot." <laughs> <laughs> I prophesy, open doors on your business, on your business. I declare the work of your hands shall prosper. The work of your hands shall prosper. It shall prosper. It shall prosper. This 2020, you will go up. You will not go down. You will not go down. Shout that amen like thunder. I'm not hearing that amen well. Everybody that's around your life, be fruitful. I thought you were shouting that amen like thunder. Barrenness, every barrenness, every barrenness. Today I command it to be over. I terminate barrenness. I terminate barrenness. I terminate barrenness. I open you up to greatness. Shout that amen three times. Carry the oil. Oh. Mm. The dryness is over. Come here. I see you in the midst of abundance. Now, you become relevant in everything that you do. The Lord said to me, I will overturn, overturn, 
overturn. There's going to be surprises this year. For good, for good, for good, for good. Over your life. Pick the oil. Jatabara <laughs> Sutaya. If there's one thing that has happened in this service, everyone complaining, God has answered you. Those of you in the choir side, in the protocol side, all the way, can you shout that amen well? Those of you on the gallery, can you shout the amen well? Lift up the oil, Lord. The anointing. There's an anointing. There is anointing in the house. Anointing in the house. Shaprato si prada, lift up the oil. I put the spirit of God upon the oil. Upon that oil. I thought you are shouting that amen well. Next week Sunday is favor without limitation. When you are coming, come with a perfume of your choice. You must smell favor this year. You must smell favor this year. And there will be no limit to it. On Wednesday, <laughs> the theme is, Oh Lord, preserve my life. Come with a sachet of salt to the pool of bedside. Oh Lord, preserve my life. Next week Sunday, favor without limitation. I'm not hearing that well. Shout that amen. Make sure you are not coming alone. Pastors and deacons, we are meeting on Monday in the evening. And on Tuesday, I will be meeting deacons. All the council of deacons, especially on their own, but the combined meeting with the pastors and deacon on Monday in the evening. So the council of deacons, I'll be meeting you on Tuesday alone in the evening too. Time 4 p.m. All the Lord strengthen us. Lift up the oil. I prophesy the hand of God upon that oil. Hand of God upon that oil. Of God upon that oil, that struggle is over. Open the oil and place on your head before I release you. Thank you. You are too faithful to fail me. You are too faithful to disappoint me. You proven yourself in my life, and I come to realize. You are too faithful to me. I prophesy. Your head will never lack joy. Today marks the end of our seven days fasting and prayer. Today marks the end of that struggle. In that pit they put you, I provide a way of escape out. The owner of that head, nobody will cry over you. The owner of that head that release you to wealth. You will not bury your children. You will not see the graveyard of your children, children. I prophesy, long life is your portion. With long life will you satisfy you. Your glory is upon. Money coming to you now. Favor coming to you now. Shout that amen seven times. One, two, go. Every one of you that made vow yesterday, come to the altar to see me with your vow. All of you.
Shabako Chitapa Ololo Fire Suba Paruko Suba Paruko Suba My name is Joshua Ikela I prophesy as your father Money on your hands Speed on your leg Ororo on your head Power Something is moving Something is changing Power 